Hey, Lysandra. Hang on. Let me get my, um, I got to fix up all the um, settings because I can't, you can't do that until after you go live. So let's do that a little bit here. I think that looks pretty good. Hi, Marie. Hi, beady eyed Beth. <laughs> So, yeah, I set all the stuff up here that I want to show. Um, I need to go this way with it. Mm, or I need to move the camera over just a little. There we go. So, yeah, we're going to work in this book today. I haven't tweeted yet. We've got to do that. We've got lots of stuff I want to show. I, oh, i got so many things to do. We're going to have so many fun things to do today. <laughs> Hi, Molly, Carol, other DD with the I, <laughs> Marie, Pat, B, anybody else I missed. So, yeah, we've got lots of things to do. Got my giveaway. I wrote down, I, I printed out, I printed out all the names of everybody in the giveaway from last Wednesday. Yeah, got tons of books and magazines and happy mail. Woohoo! <laughs> Happy Monday, everybody. Hi, Ashley, Diana. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I love my Mondays. So, uh, yeah, I came on a little couple minutes early. And uh, just, just go ahead and get set up and everything because I got so much to do. <clears throat> so much to do today. And Hubster forgot his phone, so I'm expecting him to be back any minute. <laughs> I expect him to be back at any minute to come pick up his phone. So I have to run down there and unlock the door. So, uh, <clears throat> so Barbara, Darla, anybody else I miss? Ashley, thanks everybody. Molly, thanks everybody for being here. English is not my language, but I understand a little. You are the best. Oh, thank you, Lysandra. Thank you so much. Where are you, Lysandra? What country? There's happy birthday. Oh, I can't sing. It's a copyright song. <laughs> happy birthday, Sammy. Today's Sammy's birthday. Y'all can sing it to her in chat. <laughs> hi, Elena. Suz uh, Suzanne. Uh, hi, Cheryl. So, hi, Sharon. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hope you have a great day get lots of new coloring stuff well wait you already have every coloring stuff <laughs> um, hi Helen and Helen has a new book coming out um, she has her color workshop book number three I looked on Amazon it's not out yet right Helen hi Julie Topaz Thank you. Marvelous Monday to you, too. Yeah, so y'all tell uh, Sammy happy birthday. Hi, Pacola. So, got all my bracelets are covered up with my sleeves, but I put on a couple of little pink, a little bit of pink from last year's bracelets. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I've shown people in book car and uh, cute tape bear in the middle. Okay. Well, I'll look forward to it. I'll order it as soon as I see it on Amazon. Hi, CBC. Hi, Pat. Queen. Darla. Who else do we have? We've got lots of stuff to do today. Lots of stuff. Busy day. So I came on a couple minutes early just to say good morning to everybody. Uh, I want to show some books and magazines. This is going to be our giveaway from Wednesday. Uh, and this is, I've already got the names of everybody um, printed out. Uh, on Wednesday, last Wednesday show, I told everybody that watch the video because a lot of the people, you know, if you're not here live, um, if you're not here live, then you don't uh, you don't get to be in the drawings very often. So I opened this one up for on Wednesday. Hi, Terry. For everybody that uh, watched the video, leave a comment. I printed all the names out. We had 122 comments. And so those are the people that are going to be in the drawing for this. Let me find my soundboard here. Where is my Terry? Here she is. <laughs> 
Good morning, Terry. I saw your picture of your daughter and your granddaughter. That was that was cute. Terry was making pillows over the weekend. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. Hi, Hope. Who else am I missing? You're welcome, Terry. Um, Aunt Beck. And Aunt Beck. Okay, Aunt Beck. And I know you're always at Mary's show. I started watching Mary's recording. For, Mary goes, I was going to show my face this morning, but I'm not showing my face to anybody at 430 in the morning <laughs> when she did her show this morning. And uh, so I wasn't there live. I started watching the recording. She's doing her mind map of all the questions, uh, all the questions that we asked her last week. Remember? And uh, on the bunny scroll piece, well, she got the bunny scroll piece and she started mind mapping. Hi, Janet. She started mind mapping all the answers to the questions on the back. But I had to leave right about that time. I watched about 30 minutes and then it was time for me to come on. So um, I'll have to watch the rest of it later. <laughs> Hi, Kim. <laughs> Hi, Marie. So I thought what I would do, there's a lot of stuff I got to do. It took her four takes. YouTube booted her. Oh, no, Aunt Beck. <coughs> I just went to the one, obviously, the fourth one, uh, and started watching the recording this morning. So it's it's the one, I guess, that worked. <laughs> so I'll go back and watch it later. But I did start watching it, and she, that was so cute, though. She goes, nobody's seen my face at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, I have lots to do today. I uh, we're gonna do the giveaway. Um, well, I, it's already it's it's not a, it's already been decided. It's, it's one of these people they're gonna win it, and so I just have to do random dot org. Uh, oh, you're from Cuba and and Color four children and much stress. Oh, I bet if you have four children, well, welcome, welcome, Lissandra. Hi, great. Y'all welcome uh, Lys Lysandra. She's new. And it's also Sammy's birthday today. Greens for, and from the UK, we have Malie. And I never can say it. Mila Lee. Mila Lee. So, um, yeah. Hope everybody's having a good morning. Hey, Scoops. And I got some happy mail. And I I'm, 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 was thinking it was from Sharon out um she, she's not here in chat i mean she's never live in chat the sharon that sends me and i don't know the one that always sends me the post-it notes well i got a happy mail and i'm it, it looks like a sharon happy mail but i don't know not sharon marlo and sharon l she um she's always sending me uh post-it notes well, I don't know if this is from her or not, but I'm going to show the happy mail. And if anybody wants to fess up and tell me who it was, um, and I'll have to ask if it was Sharon. So we're going to give away this today. We're going to give away this with the um, people that entered on Wednesday. Um, we're going to work on the Secrets of Coloring 2, Jennifer Zimmerman's new book. That's the project for today. I want to do five um, uh, picks from the sticks. <laughs> uh, and I have these magazines to show and happy mail. So yeah, we have a lot to do today. Let me tweet real. Yeah, pics from the sticks. <laughs> let me let me tweet real quick, guys. Oh my gosh. Um, and art in the morning live. Let's put a link in the profile. Link in profile. Put my little artist in. Where's my little coffee cup? Where's my little coffee cup? Hope you're doing well, Scoops. You got the grand this morning. Let's see. Where's my coffee cup? I lost. How did I lose my coffee cup in my emotes? It's here somewhere. Where are you? Oh, there it is. And where's my little artist palette? I did so many other emotes that it, you know, overrode the, my usuals. Where's the artist palette? And I'm expecting Hopster to drive up any minute because he forgot his phone. So, um, yeah. 
There's a little artist palette. Come back to mama. Where are you? Hang on, guys. I'm scrolling through my emotes here. Every second now has. Oh, it was good. We went up and saw, um, saw you know, Denise Boo. You know, we went up and saw the kids. Uh, had um, lunch up there, stayed up there, and then went to the bookstore. <coughs> went to the bookstore. Oh, here comes a cat with a mouse. Uh, let's see. I can't find my little artist palette. Where is it? I might have tweet without it. I'm not finding it. I see you, big guy. Hang on. Mama's looking here. There it is. All right. In Z morning? How'd that come up? Morning. Speaking of Z, I hope she's... Have y'all seen her over the weekend? Hope she's... Uh, oh, thanks, Alan. Um, thank you for the little super chat there. Thank you. All right, get down, baby. Get down. Um... I hope she's doing well. Thank you, Ellen. That was nice. Hi, Michelle. I know I missed some people. Hi, uh, yes, said hi to Suzanne. Hi, Ian. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to startle you. Oh, my gosh. I'll have to move them out of here in a minute. No, you can't go over by the cords. You know better. <laughs> here, get over here and go, go chase your mouse. So uh, anyway, yeah, uh, whoever sent me the post-it note happy mail sent a whole bunch of cat toys and cat treats. I'll show it in a little bit. <laughs> they already got, no, all right, stay right there. They already got into the uh, little toys. Just sitting here. I had to go find them all again. <laughs> They're in the box still. They're still in the packaging and they had them all over the house. <laughs> um okay Lysandra do your best hi Melody who else is coming in Kenny who else let's see I know I'm missing some people Becca <clears throat> all right baby I see you honey now he's on my chair don't fall off the chair don't fall off the chair stay over here stay on this side of the camera so that you don't knock over my take take down my cords yeah, today's Sammy's birthday, guys. Hi, Elise. Who else am I missing? Thanks, everybody, for popping in. Lori. So thanks for the thumbs up already, guys. Charlotte. Nope. You can't go over to the cords. No. No. <laughs> He's hard at it. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm sure they're, um, you know, what do you call it? Um uh, you know, catnip in them. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Really? <laughs> I'm going to have to walk you out. Your sister's sitting in the window being all nice. <laughs> so hi, Riri. So if y'all are watching the recording, um, just to let you know, I start out the show every Monday and Wednesday is when I stream every Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern. I come on usually about 8.30 to talk to everybody and say good morning. So if you want to see the projects, just slide that little bar to where anything that you want to see starts. But I like to uh, say hi to everybody. Hi, Kate. <clears throat> so now he's on the back of my chair. Oh, my gosh. Where are you going to go from there, big guy? Huh? Where are you going to go? No, 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 no. You're not going to make that big dive. No, no. Ugh. No, don't even think about it. So, uh, oh. Hi, G. Hi, Kathy. Okay, so I think we'll go. No. Oh, he wants one of these toys. Here, have that one. <sighs> hi, Valerie. Uh, hi, Jen. Yeah, I know. Well, he does good on the leash when we're outside. You know, I've shown him walking down the sidewalk. If y'all haven't seen that, I'll show it to you real quick. Then we'll get started because I got so much to do today. So much to do. Hi, Karen. 
And uh, like I said er, a minute ago, I started watching Mary's uh, video where she got my um, big scroll and she's going to do the mind map of all the questions we asked her. Oh, look, let me show you all my grandchildren from yesterday. Here's Cam. There's Cam. And here's Boo. <clears throat> There's Boo. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Let me find that picture, that little video here. I did tweet it out. So if you're, if you follow me on Twitter, you would have seen it. Uh, here we go. There we go. Just out walking my cat. <laughs> no, baby, get down. So I'm, I want to try to get them to both do it together, to walk them together, you know, down the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah. You plan to walk your cat too? <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Hi, Louise. Let's see who else am I missing here. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. I, I want to do the giveaway. The giveaway is going to be this book, but I'll, I want to show the book a little bit first. So I just laid this all out so that I could have a thumbnail. So let me move my pencils uh, for a minute. <clears throat> okay, so I got uh, magazines and books. Let me show this one first, then we'll do the giveaway. Now, the giveaway is not for today. It's from everybody that left a comment on the Wednesday video. If you left a comment on the Wednesday video, then you're eligible for to win this magazine. And there were 122 comments. So you had to watch the video to know there was a giveaway. So if you didn't watch it on Wednesday, then you didn't know there was a giveaway. So it was a random giveaway. Um, and I, I'm not going to obviously show every page, but I'm going to flip a little bit. Remember, guys, if you want to talk to me, put it in caps so I know you're talking to me. I won't think you're yelling at me. <laughs> uh, so I think we could uh, probably click in one here. <clears throat> So, um, hi, Wendy. Okay. Lurk away. So this is this month or this, um, it's uh, every other month, bi-monthly. So this is the, well, I guess it's, um, quarterly now, April, May, and June art journaling. If the art journaling is quarterly, the Somerset studio is bi-monthly. <coughs> so, um, I, I specifically bought this for the giveaway. I thought it would be a good, uh, good, um, I, you know, just a kind of a random cool thing to do. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to kind of flip through. So the thing about the art journaling magazine is by Somerset Studio or Stampington and Company. Um, this is the art journaling publication. They have tons of different publications. And in the art journaling one, they always ask, the artist. We ask the artist, what's the most unusual topic inspiration you've used for one of your pages? They always have random questions. It's not always the same question. They always ask questions of the artist to um, have answer. And then they have little tips. They have each artist featured has little tips. Like, here's one, tips, don't be afraid to try new techniques, even if they don't come out the way you wanted. Here's some three go-to supplies. This person likes watercolors, the white Signo pen, and the relics and artifacts craft blanks. I don't know what that is, but uh, I guess they're like substrate cards or something. And uh, so anyway, uh, this magazine is really cool. I've, I I don't buy it every time. I usually glance through it and see if I if there's anything in there I want to read or test or try because I've been getting these magazines, the Somerset Studio, since day one, two thousand eight or nine. I forget when they first started, and uh, so I don't buy them all anymore because there's only so many art journaling projects I can do. <laughs> or any of us could do, but it is a, it's, it's, you know, I think it's, well, it's one of the only ones on the market for art journaling, uh, you know, in particular, 
So anyway, then back here they have different little uh, prompts. Then they have a gallery and you can submit to this. Um, they have a submission form in the back where it tells you you have to do it like I think like six months ahead of time. Um, like here's the upcoming dates for the autumn 2019 to May 15th issue. You have to know uh, what to submit for those particular issues, but that's what this magazine is. And Pack or Die, our Pack or Die, has been in uh, it about maybe three different times. I think three times she's been in this. Uh, oh, did I miss something? What happened to Melody? Sorry, Melody missed it. What happened, Janet? I just now looked over at chat and saw that. Um, so anyway, you can submit to this magazine if you like to do art journaling. And and all the Somerset magazines, they have different... Um, she's in more than three now. Thanks, Terry. Um, all their magazines you can submit to. And there's just all different ones other besides... Besides... <laughs> beside... Um, the Art Journal in Somerset Studio, they have uh, Art Crafting Studio. They have in her studio, that Mingle, which is like uh, part, doing parties, Candle, Willow and Sage, Holiday, Jewelry. So they have all different kind of publications, right? And uh, I keep expecting Hubster to drive up any minute because he forgot his phone. <laughs> Uh, okay, Janet, just making sure everybody's okay. D, that brings up a subject that gives me about when they put magazines in plastic sealed bags. When they put them, oh, that you can't see them. Okay, well, I don't think Somerset does that. A lot of the UK magazines do, Ian, but I think there's a reason for the UK magazines doing that. One is a lot of the UK magazines include stamps, acrylic stamps, or, you know, little cards, or they have a lot of goodies in their, um, in their, in their mag, with their magazines. And so if they're going to ship them worldwide, they need to be in plastic sleeves. So I get that. But um, I don't think any of Somerset Public or any of Stampington, who puts these out, does that. I've never seen one in a plastic sleeve. Now, if you get them over in the UK in plastic sleeves, I can understand that because they're shipping them and they want them to be safe. But um, yeah, over in the UK, a lot of your magazines come with uh, accoutrements that they want to keep with the magazine. But that's just my guess. That's just my guess. But I know what you're talking about. Like, um, there's a couple of real high quality fashion magazines that I like. I think, oh, this will be a good one. Suddenly buy a fashion magazine every couple of years to use in collage or to show how to draw or do drawing tips and stuff like that. And those those are always in plastic. And I'm, I'm not going to buy a $30 magazine in plastic. I don't know what's in here. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, Wendy. Yes, I have seen the new flow. <laughs> We're going to get to it. Uh, so anyway, so let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and do the giveaway for this because it's not like everybody has to be here because it's it's what everybody that um, commented. So let me get up random.org. Um, let's see here. And we have 122. I started up here, so I have a zero next to my name. Let me get random.org and we'll do this giveaway real quick because we've got a lot to do. Lots to do today. Okay, so I got my random.org and we're going to put in one, two, up to 122. All right, so we got one to 120. I gave everybody a number. Can you see how everybody's got a number next to their name? And I printed it out, uh, all of them out. And uh, I don't know how many sheets I have. I didn't number the sheets. But anyway, okay, so let's see, see who won the magazine. All right? 26. All right, so let's see who 26 is. Wait for it. Wait for it. Where's my, where's my post-it notes here? Number 26 is... Dun, 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 dun. This this just uh, I just copied and pasted all the all the people so it just printed out that way. I didn't miss anybody. I made sure twenty six is AJ. 
AJ, that was me. So I scratched myself off of another. <laughs> so 26 is AJ. So there she is. AJ's here. AJ, you won them. You won the art journal. I need you to send me your address. Congratulations. Yeah, I had one. How many pages have one, two, three, four, <clears throat> five, six, seven? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pages. 15 pages of uh, names. AJ. Congratulations, AJ. Email me. Email me your address, okay? So I can get that out to you. It probably will go out Saturday. Maybe before if I get down the post office. But, you know, my mailman... Um, Hubster, <laughs> aka Hubster. Um, we we can't get down the post office uh, with his new job as often as we uh, did before. So there, there's my email. Terry, just put it in. So congratulations, AJ. Um, next, I think is it next week. Next, well, whatever the first Wednesday, maybe it's two weeks. We're going to be giving away uh, the book that Melody. You know, um, this one will be given away on the first Wednesday of May. So whatever the first Wednesday of May is, this will be the, for here live, the live show. This will be the Wednesday, first Wednesday of May. Um, okay, have a great birthday, Sammy. Enjoy your lunch. <clears throat> okay, baby, I see you. I know you brought me a mouse. Oh my gosh, let me get a sip of juice. Okay, now this one, this next uh, part's going to be a little tricky. <laughs> All right, I want to show Happy Mail. I might have to move him, guys. I'm going to show these magazines here in a minute because I know Janet's chomping at the bit for the books and magazines. <laughs> All right, so this next segment. Happy mail. I got a list here. Let me scratch off what we're doing here. Okay, we gave away the book. And congratulations again, AJ. Thanks for leaving the comment. Thanks, everybody, for leaving the comment. Um, when I do a giveaway on the on the comments in the show, I don't answer or say, you know, don't all I do is start and stop. I try not to say any comments in that particular uh and those that particular video because I don't want to, I don't want my comments to interrupt all the printout. So if you commented on that day, I didn't even like or comment or anything. I might go back now and and say thank you or or like your comment. But because I don't want to interfere with the flow, look at them. I don't want to interfere with the flow flow of the comments. So when I do a giveaway, oh thank you, Pacola. Okay, so here's the next thing. I got happy mail yesterday. It was on my porch when we got home from um, when we got home from Denise's. And if y'all missed it, let me show let me show again here. Hang on. Um, <clears throat> we, uh, oh, baby, you're gonna have to get down. I know, I know. You want to be up here, Mama here. Um. So it was on the porch when we got home yesterday, and it, there was no, you know, sometimes in Amazon will put the little gift thing in there as to who sent it. So there's Boo. There's my granddaughter um, who just got her license. She's 16. And then Cam, here's Cam. Um, he's 19. And so we got to go up and see them. Hi, Mark. So anyway, I don't know who sent this. My point is, I don't know who sent this happy mail. <laughs> I'm thinking it's Sharon L because Sharon L is always the one to send me post-it notes, but I can't be sure. So, um, <laughs> all right. So anyway, look at this post-it note box. Let's see if I can get the, look. it is a, a stack. Look at this. It's a big, I don't know if they're connected or not. It's a, it says a 24 pad. Although, no, they're individually. <laughs> oh no, I shouldn't have taken them out. <laughs> Uh, Y'all know I go through my post-it notes, right? So anyway, yeah, I'm going to have to get them back in the box here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my goodness. So this was in the happy mail. Let me leave one out there. There we go. This was in the happy mail. <laughs> I know. So anyway, then someone must have known I was running low on the wide, uh, wide Sharpies. <laughs> girl whoever sent this to me my goodness you're something else uh sent me the uh sharpies that i was uh you know, i go through sharpies a lot both the both the thick ones and the the ones that i write with the the pins you know i go through them a lot and uh, this person must know that so is there anybody here fessing up to this uh or i'm gonna have to uh message sharon and ask her if it was her but uh anyway okay then Wait for it. Look, look. These have been all over the floor. They've been in here, and I had these sitting aside. I did not take them out of there. Well, wait. Yeah, I'll go ahead and show this next. No, wait, wait. I got to show this next. So these little uh, post-its, they're kind of a post-it book, quest book or something. I haven't opened them yet. I said, well, let's wait and open something on camera. So I don't know what these are. I don't know if they're little post-its inside. So we're going to open these together. I guess, uh, oh, oh, wait, there's a, there we go. There we go. Let me get this out. I'm not sure what this is. Arc Century. Um, enabling. <laughs> okay, so he just brought me the mouse again. <clears throat> I'm going to have to put them, lock them, shut the door. Okay, so they are little post-it notes. Oh, look. They're little, they're little um, Asian post-its. But look how, look how pretty they are. Okay, baby, I see. Lake water, Mara no, that's the side you can't go on. Now, you know that. I'm so stubborn, I swear. <laughs> Not you, Sharon, Sharon L., Sharon L is always sending me post-it notes. So that's what I um that's who I think it is. Um back to normal Easter God feeling us. So back to streams of Sammy's birthday. Uh, yeah, Susan, we uh Sammy was just here. Sammy was here. We all wished her happy birthday. Then she said she had to get ready to go to lunch. So if you're going to lunch with her, you better get ready, Susan. <laughs> Susan is Sammy's mom. So um, Lake Water, Mirage. Look how pretty they are. They're, they say guest book on them. I'm not sure why that is, but they're Asian. So you know, very cute. This one's called Peak. This one is called, what is that one? Hills, hillside. Hillside. Aren't they pretty? Um, Fancy post-it notes. Oh, thank you, Terry found them. <laughs> Leave it to Terry to find them on Amazon. And then this one is called, um, what's this one called? Hang on. I can get them out of here without. Okay, so these, it uh, doesn't have a name on the front. Um. Pluto. Hi, Jeannie R. Rainbow Moon. Y'all know I love these. These will be in collages. Mercury. Black Moon. I could have used the, the moon when I was doing those cards. <laughs> Earth. Very pale Earth. And Mars. Aren't those cool? I know. Oh, your dog sitting. You celebrated yesterday. Okay, Susan. Well, good. So, yes. Yeah, so, uh, there are those. Okay. <laughs> now, now to the cat stuff. So, this is usually their toys. You know, they have lots of these around the house. <laughs> So, and so anyway, I had these sitting here and they've been playing with these all morning. I've had to go and find them. I think I got all of them. I think there was four, maybe there was five. There might've been one more that's now disappeared. Since the cats, cat toys. Let's move this because it's making a glare. <laughs> Whoever it was sent the cats. There's, this is a, this is a three pack. There's another three pack. <laughs> a little Easter bunny. 
<laughs> and some other kind of little, I don't know what this one is. Another just, uh, oh, it's a chickadee. It's a chickadee. So anyway, they have been playing with these in the packaging. Because I wanted to show them to you guys first. Because when they came, you know, yesterday afternoon. So I wanted to show them in the packaging before um, <laughs> before I gave them to them. But they just came in here and took the whole pack. Took the whole pack and ran off with them and played with them. Played with them in the pack. <laughs> so whoever sent this Happy Meal included this. And now look at this. Someone's trying to steal my cats. Someone wants my cats. <laughs> They're trying to bribe them. They're trying to bribe them. Look, a whole box of <laughs> treats. <laughs> oh, but this is the kind they eat too. A whole box of, um, yeah, cut those toys loose. Yes, AJ. I know I should now, right? Let me, uh, here, I'll cut, I'll cut the bunny and the, I'll cut the little bunny and the, uh, chickadee off here and then this says pull this off here oh it's a squeaker wonderful wonderful they're both squeakers oh we're gonna love hearing that in the middle of the night <laughs> They're not coming in here. They probably the wind is open. They probably just think it's outdoor noise. <laughs> Let the cats. They're, they're the door's open, Marie. So I don't know where they are. They probably got tired of me pushing them off the desk. They'll be back when they come back. I'll give these to them. <laughs> oh my gosh, those are gonna be fun. Yeah, see, they didn't start squeaking until I pulled the little tabs, right? <laughs> uh, all right, so we'll set this aside till they come back in here. Oh, look, he's looking for it. Okay, I threw it out there, and he's, he's looking at it like, what? Now, when I see her, I'll give her this one. Oh, now he sees it. Okay, now they, they got him now. I threw him out the door. <laughs> so anyway, lots of treats. Bags of treats. This is the kind they like. I mean, temptations. So yeah, so the, whoever sent this to me, thank you so much. I would like to know who sent, the, sent it. <clears throat> Hi, Angel Bear. Thank you. You too. Okay. So let me move all the uh, happy mail off of the desk here for a minute. <laughs> we got so much to do today. <clears throat> all right. So I'm going to blame Sharon L unless I hear otherwise. All right. So now let me move my coffee over here. I have room now. Hmm. Getting a little chill. I'm surprised Hopster hasn't come back yet for his phone. All right, let's move the giveaway pile over here. And uh, well, I guess I don't really need that anymore. Uh, I'll keep it a couple days. All right, so now back to our books. If y'all saw the uh, AJ, uh, we gave away the Art Journal magazine, and AJ won it from Wednesday. That was from Wednesday. Let me brighten this up just a little. There we go. Hi, uh, Shaleen. How you doing? Uh, Teresa. I know I'm missing some people, guys. Don't forget, if you want to talk to me, to put it in caps. <clears throat> okay. So we are going to work in this today. We will get to this in shortly. I try to come on a little early so that we I can hear that toy out there. I'm going to think there's a bird in the house. <laughs> We're going to work in uh, Jennifer Zimmerman's new book, The Secrets of Coloring 2, here in a minute. I want to show you uh, what else I got at uh, Barnes & Noble. And, uh, uh, oh, great. Yeah, bring it in here. 
Y'all going to probably hear that. Y'all going to say, uh, get rid of that cat out of the door. Put the cat out the door. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Jeannie, Mama Thor. Yeah. Okay, so I got these. Let me see. I got these three things at uh, Barnes and Noble because, you know, we, we have to stop by Barnes and Noble when we go up and see the kids. Do y'all want me to take send him out the door? Is it going to bug you guys? It's going to bug me after about five minutes. So we'll listen to the little cat toy for about five minutes. I mean, just because we're on camera. Otherwise, I would totally ignore it. Okay. Um, <laughs> so this magazine, and I've, I started reading, I'm about halfway through. I just saw it on the, uh, you know, stand going out, the secrets of creativity, uh, take a leap, 50 ways to spark great ideas, find your inner genius. Okay, guys, I, I'll put them out. Let me, let me throw it down the stairs. They'll follow it. Okay, he ran down the stairs with it. <laughs> I can tune that stuff out, except when I'm streaming. Um, yeah, when I'm streaming, guys, because I'm thinking about y'all, and I'm thinking, that's got to be irritating. Uh, cats are going to have nervous breakdown. <laughs> well, um, Malibu got a shrew. It was a shrew or a mole. Maybe it was a little mole. Anyway, she got one in the garage. And I, I haven't even seen a shrew or a mole around here in years. But she found one. <laughs> she captured it. Thought she was so proud of herself and her brother was jealous. Okay, so the secrets of creativity, find your inner genius. This was a cool magazine. Um, just all different kinds of little creativity. Um, there's a little creativity test. My creative self, um, you know, just what what's your creative uh, way of thinking creativ creatively? And, um, yeah, so it's, it's just really colorful. So after I read it, you know, probably be good for some collage or, you know, I'll do a giveaway. So, yeah, let me just do a little flip through. A little flip through about it. Secrets of the creative team. Going with the flow. This was, I read this article. This is really interesting. Going with the flow. How, you know, when you get in that zone, we just call it the zone. When you get in the zone. Hi, Devin. Hi, Robin. When you get in the zone, you know, like it feels like time stops and you're just like really into your project. That's what they're talking about here with flow. Going with the flow that state of mind. And um, so that was a really good, that was really interesting. I mean, I thought the price of the magazine was, that article was really good. The power of sleep. Let's see what else do we have here? High lucidity. Um, 10 strategies for enhancing creativity. So I will uh, write a lot of this down in our um, Society of Idea Collectors notebook. And um, so you like to be in the zone. Yeah. So it was really, it was really an interesting article. And uh, if you, if anybody's been in the zone, you know, in the flow, you know exactly what they're talking about. And they talk about the brain, how it literally change your brain waves actually change and in different endorphins and different things that happen to your brain when you get in the zone. And uh, so it was it was really good. So that's the secrets of creativity. Who puts this out? I don't even know. Centennial Health. So anyway, yeah, it, uh, I'll, I'll take some notes on it. Maybe we'll talk about it on a Society of Idea Collectors episode. OK, <clears throat> so then I got these two books. Now, I think let me show this one first. Because I think Barb has this one. This was marked down to like nine ninety eight. I leave the stickers on there just to show you guys, but that these stickers bug me on the front. I don't care if they're on the back, you know, or on the on the inside or something. <laughs> I don't like them on the front of my books. I think Barb Owen had this. I I didn't watch the show, but for some reason I think I saw a thumbnail or something. I think Barb Barb had this book. Does anybody know? Um, but the cover, look, it's always about, you know, it's, I, it's, it's that eye candy that gets you the packaging, the eye candy, right? 
So what this is, is sketch your stickers. There are over 500 and Barb did. Okay, AJ, she did. Okay. Yes, the cover made me pick it up. And um, so anyway, um, thanks, AJ. I'll have to go back and watch Barb's show on this because I, I think that would be, these will be fun to do. Uh, the flamingo. Oh, I don't think Eileen's here right now. So we're good. <laughs> so wait, 550 stickers you can sketch on and peel off. So essentially what it is, they're blank stickers. And, and it's going to be hard to see. Maybe if I leave it, can y'all see any of those shapes? So they're just all the shapes. See, I don't know if you can see them very well. But they're sticker shapes, 550 sticker shapes that you can make your own stickers out of, right? I know, me too, Camille. And good morning, by the way. And uh, so, and then they have some practice page here on the back side of the stickers. So if you want to practice what you want to do, whatever kind of design or whatever. And um, yeah, well, oh, there's a, there's a bat. That, that has to go to Ann, Mama Fruit Bat. <laughs> So anyway, um, you've resisted getting this book. I'm not helping. Sorry, AJ. <laughs> so we'll work in this. You know, we'll do something in this or I'll work. I'll do some of them and post some pictures on IG and et, et, et cetera. So, yeah, I thought that was uh, that is by, put out by Piccadilly and uh, it just looked familiar. And I, that's what and I thought I saw a thumbnail by Barb Owen. So if you want to see this book in action, uh, Barb Owen probably has a video on it. Okay, next I got this. And the reason <clears throat> the reason I got this one, y'all know we have done our, uh, what do you call it? Um, we've done uh, pulling the uh, prompt cards, not prompt cards, but questions. You know, our little boxes of cards we've had over the years. Well, this is kind of, all right, now I've got to get this sticker off, guys. Sorry, it's going to bug me. <laughs> Uh, um, the, I got this for you guys. We're going to do, this is one of those question, you know, que you answer questions in it. 3,000 questions about me, but this is going to be 3,000 questions about you. <laughs> so let me get this sticker off. There we go. And I like the format in the book. I like the format, the way they just have like a sentence and you got room to write, but look at that. 3000 questions about you guys. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to just kind of stick my hand in here and just kind of pick one. If you had the opportunity to get a message across to a large group, what would it be? And there's 3000 of these. Oh my gosh. Does anyone know Helen Elsa special face? Uh, she was here earlier saying, I, so you'll have to ask if she's still here, you can ask her. Uh, as soon as it comes on Amazon, I will be buying it. But I don't know. Oh, I didn't see a date. Um, I didn't see a date. Follow her on uh, follow her on uh, Facebook, Sing, if you're on Facebook. Hi, CBC. Did I miss anybody? I'm sure I'm missing Kimmy K. I'm sure I'm missing some people. Hi, Lynette. Oh, good. Good. Well, good to have you, Lynette. So there's, well, let me just do another random question here. Let's just do another random question. What do you think should be mandatory for everyone on the planet to read? Well, right now, Janet and I would say 1984, because that's what we're reading. <laughs> we're rereading it, I should say. 1984, George Orwell's 1984. Hi, Mary. Oh, Mary, I started watching your video this morning. For those of y'all don't know, Mary got her uh, bunny scroll that we did here on the show, uh, was it week before last? And we asked Mary a bunch of questions, and she was going to mind map them. Well, she got the scroll, <coughs> and she did it this morning. So, Mary, I watched about 30 minutes of it this morning, not live. Um, I started watching the recording before I came on here this morning. So I'll have to go back and watch the rest. But Mary, it was so funny. I love when you go, I was going to do a face to face today, but um, it's 430 in the morning. I'm not doing a face to face at 430 in the morning. <laughs> That's about as far as I got, Mary. So yeah, I'm going to go back and watch it. So y'all uh, follow Mary. Did she see her there? And, uh, and go see what she did with the bunny scroll that we did a couple weeks ago. I can't wait to see it. She's mind mapping it. 
She's mind mapping the questions on the back. So uh, anyway, guys, I got this for us to, you know, when we just want to, there's a lull, like there's hardly ever a lull in the conversation, but when there's a lull in the conversation here, we will randomly, what's one thing you do, wait, what is one thing you do you consider practical? So anyway, there's some good questions in here. So that'll be fun to, um, this will be fun for us to to just do randomly. And speaking randomly, we have to do our um, five, um, read 10 or 10 prompts. I got to read 10 prompts to you guys here in a minute. Okay, but we're going to finish the magazines first. Then we're going to get to, we're going to get to this. We're going to get to this. <laughs> okay, so the flow. The Flow magazine, the new one, I did not buy the last month's Flow. I looked through and I said, well, you know, I got so much of this stuff. I got so much Flow paper, book, paper stuff. But this month I got it because this was attached. This was this was uh, belly banded with a plastic belly band around it. And it is How Well Do You Know Yourself, a, a writing course. It's one of their mini courses. It's number three. I don't have one or two, I don't think. But anyway, this is um, their mini course number three. And what it is, it looks, it's kind of like in a calendar format. But you have prompts and you write, um, you journal, you journal, uh, I'll, you know, look at all. I'm not obviously not going to read this all, <clears throat> but tips to help you write. Four questions you can ask yourself after writing. Um, you already collage. <laughs> Yeah, probably Terry. I don't remember. And uh, <laughs> and uh, getting started. And then there's all kinds of questions to answer. And see, they give you all the space to write in. I will probably uh, take this apart. I'll take this apart and put it in one of my uh, Society of Idea Collector notebooks. I'll punch holes in it and put it in a binder. Um and then the rest of the, the back half of the book is blank. Well, there's a couple things in there. But they have blank pages for you to do it. Keep it light. Then they have pages for that. Create a routine. Then they have four or five pages for that. Five or six. Uh, you are not your thoughts. Then they have, you know, you have to, you have to write about all this stuff, right? So anyway, that is the flow mini course number three that came attached. So if you get the flow, this one, make sure this is attached to the back. It was like this with it was like this with the plastic plastic band. So Ian, it, you could still see in it, Ian. Ian and I, he was asking earlier about uh, when magazines come in plastic. It wasn't wrapped in plastic. It just had a belly band around it to keep this attached. So if you get this this month's flow, make sure that this is attached to it, okay? Because you know sometimes you don't know. It may not. It may have the band may have broken and this won't be there. Hi, Pamela. Okay, so um, okay, so I'm gonna flip through this month's flow, and if y'all know flow, look at how there, there's just so much beautiful paper ideas and just the the magazines themselves. Now they're they're book price, so the price of a book, guys. They're not cheap, but it, if you like paper and you use a lot, of this, so here's a piece of cardstock, Vanderlust. This is uh, people that live in a van, and. Uh, travel um and then they have there's three different artist profiles on different artists and what they do new plan of a new action plan um and just the artwork the illustrations in this is just awesome there's uh and i see a lot of girls on um instagram I say girls, there's probably some guys too, but you know, the, the, the people that make this kind of art are usually girls, you know, but anyway, um, that do this kind of art. And I hope they know about flow because they need to, they need to submit, they need to submit to flow to, um, cause this is the kind of illustrations that they look for. I'm, I'm reading about this guy here. I haven't got far. Um, Let's see. Thinking about death makes you value. See, there's like little, um, what do you call it? Little mini posters. 
Dee and I are going to read books. Like, yes, that what Janet's saying there. We're reading a list of books, and right now, and I, I gotta finish it, Janet. I gotta just get crack lack, and I've been been so. I know both of us have been really busy. I think. Are you listening to your Janet on the on the audio book that you got? What what did you, what is it on the the audio from the library? What's that uh, app called? Anyway, uh, did it have? Did you get to have the appendix on the on the language in the back? Hoopla, hoopla. Yeah, Janet's using hoopla uh, through the audio through the library. But did they have the appendix on hoopla? Because it ha you have to read the appendix on the on the. Oh, is this to audiobooks? The word list. Okay, so that then that is in the uh, that was the part of the appendix, Janet. So you did get the appendix in the hoopla audio. Okay, just making sure. Uh, this is washi tape. So the stickers here. So you just get all kinds of stuff. Look, you get two, how many pages? Two or three. Two pages of stickers. It's washi tape stickers, you know, like washi tape here, like the thing. So you get two pages. There's always so much in the Flow magazine and the Flow paper book for paper lovers, which are about that thick. Um, so anyway, there's a couple pages of that. And then they have, this one's on, like, I think, growing herbs. They always have some uh, place around the world that they feature. So, um, yeah, here's the new book for Paper Lover 6. Available now. I haven't seen this out yet. I'll have to look for it. My, um, my Barnes & Noble and Books A Million do not have it yet. Uh, and, I, and, I, and I love these, and I buy them. And I've got stacks of paper from, I got to use it more. But they're just so pretty. You can't really resist. Okay. Uh, Daphne Demure, the, uh, the author. Um, another piece of cardstock. Lots of, lots of cool posters. This girl, I think this is, um, uh, what is, no, this is not. There's a girl that does embroidery. I'm not sure what this one is. Uh, that's got to be some, uh. A, an awesome um, bar, bar, barista, coffee barista to do that. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Uh, pictures of old vintage pictures of women and trees. I mean, look at that. It's just vintage pictures. Uh, Bollywood backdrops. Look at this. See, look, they feature this artist that does Bollywood. Oh, here comes Hubster. Hang on, guys. Let me go get him his phone. He forgot his phone, so I was wondering when he was coming back. Come in, baby. Play with your toy out there. Okay. Whew. Went up down those stairs a couple times. Okay. So, um, yeah, I was wondering how long it would take for him to uh, remember uh, to realize he forgot his phone. All right, let's take a sip of juice here. Okay. So, yeah, painting backdrops here. I love artist profiles. And I guess what he does is paints backgrounds and then photographs the people in front of the backdrops. Bless his heart, this guy's got a broken foot. So that's very cool. Sorry, guys, I got to catch my breath. Here's a uh, thing on Amsterdam. Another piece of cardstock. And then some smaller articles in the back. So just so y'all can have a little uh, peruse. 
before you might think about buying it. Then here's some things on some different plants. Oh, look, they make people like those little eyeballs and things on them. Hi, Barbara. Barbara L. Kimmy. Bye, Kimmy. Hi, Faithful Mess. <clears throat> Anybody else I missed? I'm trying to get through these magazines and books. I wanted to try to get through some of them on Saturday when I did the, if y'all weren't here, I did a Saturday impromptu where I showed the Arteza. Let's look at them, guys. I haven't looked at them since Saturday. Let's take a look at them. They're still, they're still wet and juicy looking from Saturday. They haven't dried at dried up at all. So, but we'll we'll eventually get to those. <laughs> so many projects. Okay, so that's the Flow magazine that comes with the How Well Do You Know Yourself Flow Mini Course Three. So that comes attached to the back of it. So that so just so you know, one more to go. Let's move this one here. <clears throat> Daphne's, Daphne's Diary. And this is another one that I don't buy every month. Um, so, but I did buy this one because <laughs> I just, they're drawing, they're not drawing up faithful mess. Well, she puts a little cactus there, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So. <laughs> Faithfulness is a mess. She's a mess. Um, so one of the things I like about Daphne's diary is all the, um, you can use this for cutting out and using art journals. I love using these kind of things in your art journal. Like if you write, if you write in a journal. Now I do not do diaries. I do not do a diary type of planner, daily draw, draw daily writing routine. Say that fast three times. Uh, can you buy the Flow magazine individually? You mean without that back? It, it's part of the price. That, that was just a special, Molly. That attachment on the back, it's part of the price of the magazine. It was a special inclusion in this month's magazine. Yeah. Um, so, again, it's just like, look at that little flower right there. You know, cut that out next to your writing. I don't know. This, see this like here? They're just, and it's just pretty. It's a beautiful, they're just a beautiful magazine. It's out of the UK. Um, <clears throat> making a card there. And a um, little article about, I've never partying with this little gumball machine. Just a little, it's just a very sweet little magazine. It kind of just reminds me of like, y'all remember the Victoria magazine? I think they, they went out, they un stopped publishing and they restarted publishing again. But this is just like more. Oh, you mean without the subscription? Yeah, I bought mine in the bookstore, Molly. I don't, I, I, I buy mine in the bookstore. Barnes and Noble and um, Books a Million. They both carry it. Yeah. And you can also just buy it. Uh, you can just order it from them individually. Okay. Um, so anyway, these are little, um, little, uh, envelopes or little, what are they call They're little puffy, they're called puffy boxes or something. They're not calling that here, but, um, you cut them out for fairly thick cardstock and you cut them out and you bend them and they're puffy, the little puffy envelopes. And so anyway, they give you a bunch of those to cut out. <clears throat> I know it is cute. And then here's some um, little, let's see, things on spring plans. What your shoes say about your character. Okay, I go barefoot all the time. What does that say? What does that say about me? <laughs> um, here's how to make some little circle flower things. I mean, these are just, they're just sweet little projects. Mr. Bear and Auntie Cat. Little, little stories. And uh, so, and then some recipes. Here's a little chart. How are you feeling today? And, and this book also has inclusions usually in it too. Okay, these are stickers right here, guys. Here's some Mother's Day stickers. What little stickers here. Um, so that in showing you how to wrap up packaging really nice. A little um, travel segment here. Paper roses. 
Uh, and then here's a little uh, coloring page. Oh, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do. It's got a thing. It looks like you have to cut it and do something with it. Anyway, there's a little project there. See, a little cut, cut and color project. Hand lettering lunch. And so there's just so much little tips. Look at this. They covered their whole table with brown paper, like the roll, the scroll paper that we use to draw scrolls on. They covered the whole thing with that, and then they just drew all the stuff on there. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I don't entertain, so if you come to my house, you're getting a grilled cheese. But uh, <laughs> but that's very cute if you do entertain. Denise had a, such a cute table all set up, um, and the Easter little Easter baskets and things she had for, you know. Here's, again, there's Cam. There's my boo. There's my boo. And Denise had, um, uh, let me see if I can find the table. There's part of the table. This is only like half the table. She had all these little things all over the table, all decorated up. It was so cute. So cute. Oh, <laughs> and I sent this to my mom. Um, they have Alexa. Alexa. And so she made the pigs in the blanket, you know, the little, um, the little sausages with the wrap of, um, the wrap of, uh, what do you call it? Dough, you know, biscuit dough around them and you bake it. And so I told her, I said, well, she'd already told Alexa to time it, but I said, do it for your grandmother. So she made this little recording for my mom just so that she could show her how Alexa works and. <laughs> about 10 minutes left so anyway she sent that to mom uh cam i did find that he has been doing a little bit of art so here is one of the pieces that he is still working on that's one of cam cam's pieces right there <laughs> And he's working on another one over here. He's working on this one. This is it's still half sketch. There's another one of his. Um, it's it's still in sketch form. This is one of his friends. They're drawing each other. So that's his that's his friend. And I guess they're drawing each other. So yeah, they're so good. I know. I love them. So that yeah, family. There's the family. Okay. So <laughs> I know. He does do good work. Okay, so then Rose Gardens. And then look at this little flower drawing book. See, and, and they're always attached with the little, um, we call them snot dots, little glue dots. So you can pull this off. There's little glue dots there. Little flower drawing book. So, yeah. Anyway, through the years of buggy tram, what do they call them? Tam, tram, tams, trams? What do they call them in the UK? What do they call them? Um, we just call them, yeah, pram, pram, pram. Thank you, AJ, pram. <laughs> Tam, you know, whatever. <laughs> Thank you. Um, then you have, this is some kind of a search thing there. And, uh, so yeah, how to make pom-poms, some more recipe cards. Yeah, you can cut these out. So anyway, guys, it's just a really beautiful magazine. And um, but again, it's not cheap. It is imported from the UK. So um, bookmarks, look, making your these bookmarks here. So yeah, uh, are you clutching your pearls, Janet? Are you clutching your pearls? <laughs> All right, so there's Daphne's diary. All right. One more thing to do before we get to our project, which is we're going to be working in the Secrets of Coloring 2. I saved it for last so we can take the rest of the time to to work in it. But I want to really quickly take uh, a minute to read the next, because I said I was going to do this every Monday. So I'm going to read 10 sticks, inspiration sticks. Y'all got a piece of paper? Y'all got a piece of paper and pencil or pen? Let me Eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna read ten of them, and then I'll put them. I'll put a rubber band around them. All right. <clears throat> so these are some inspiration prompts. 
from this little box. I got it at my museum, the High Museum. And it's called a Spark Creativity. And it's a little like a little matchbox. And now these are not real. This that's just painted. All right, they're just painted. You can't, uh, you're not going to light these for real. And it's very hard to see. They're written in very light blue on the back, but they're little inspiration prompts. So I'm going to read some of these to you. What did Ian say? His name is John D. My five year old son is one with Daffy's diet as I am. He's coloring it as well. Oh, that's nice, Malay. Mill Lee. Miller Lee. I know I'm not pronouncing that right. Okay, so y'all ready for these prompts real quick? Then we're going to get into coloring in this book. All right, here we go. Do the wrong thing. And I'm sure they don't mean morally. I think they're meaning in creativity. <laughs> like if you're trying to do something in your art and, it, and you just do the wrong thing. See what happens. Give yourself a time limit. Spend 10 minutes a day on a new creative pursuit. Repeat for a week. And you can tell that whoever made this probably does not do something creative every single day like we all do. <laughs> but, you know, hey, use these, use, ch change it up and use it to help, you know, however they'll uh, inspire you. Try writing in 90 minute creative spurts with 30 minute breaks. When I do air quotes, it means it's actually in quotes. I'm not just randomly doing air quotes. Okay. Try doing things with your non-dominant hand. Uh, execute a single idea 10 different ways. Now, see, that that's something I would be, I would do. I would try to like draw something 10 different ways, 10 different styles, 10 different, you know, color, 10 different mediums. Try that. Like, take a flower, draw a flower, or whatever you like. I just flowers are just your random, you know, use for a, an example. Uh, draw a flower, ten different styles, or draw this. Use the same flower. You know, like if you draw, you know, draw a flower about this big, print it out, and try to color it with ten different mediums. Okay. <laughs> well, faithful, I'm recording faithful. You're a mass faithful. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, you do the same thing 10 different ways. Okay, I'll, we'll talk slow then. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to go slower. I'm teasing you guys. Give yourself a complete change of scenery. Tune everything else out and listen just to yourself. So how many here are able, and not everybody can, I'm not judging, I'm just asking, how many people here are absolutely content with just being with yourself? No music, no videos, no background. Can you just, are you, can you be content with your own voice in your head? Like if you're doing something, you know, can you just do something? A lot of you can. Yeah. Terry, Kelly, uh, Mary. Faithful, faithful raised her little hand. <laughs> They're so cute, Faithful. Uh, alone time doesn't bother me in the least. Uh, <laughs> Janet says, I get along great with the voices in my head. Oh, my gosh. That goes in the wing nut. <laughs> I get along great with the voices in my head. Janet. That's going to go in the wing nut book, Janet. <laughs> uh, uh, rabbit girl. Bunny girl. I'm in love with myself all the time. I talk to my, and then Terry says, I talk to myself and answer myself. <laughs> B, I best said, yes, actually, I prefer it to background noise. Molly went, nope. <laughs> Danny girl says my inner self is hilarious. She speaks in accents. <laughs> oh my gosh, Danny girl, Danny girl. These are funny. My inner self is hilarious. She speaks in 
accents. Danny girl. Wing nut. Y'all two are a couple of wing nuts. Hi, Galena. <laughs> and y'all don't know what the wing nut book is. Let me show y'all. Anytime somebody says something particularly quirky, quippy, quotey, <laughs> it goes in the wing nut book. Because, you know, we're all just a bunch of wing nuts. So, uh, yeah. So let's put in Danny Girl and let's find a spot there for Janet and her uh, great voices in her head. <laughs> okay, so let's finish up these last two. I have a rubber band here to use. Now I can't find it. I lost my. All right, we'll get another one out. Okay, last two. Um, Shadow someone creative for a day and see what you pick up. Well, we do that every time we watch a stream, don't we? <laughs> and the last one here, read about or learn something outside your area of expertise. So there, there's your 10 Monday inspiration. Do another, get another rubber band here. So, yeah. <laughs> so there's our little little uh, inspiration for the Monday. Karen says, my inner self is smarter than I am. Oh my gosh. Uh, Karen, that's a good one. We'll put you in the wing book. book. Wing, wing book. Wing nut book. <laughs> oh. My inner self is smarter than I am. <laughs> okay, so now we got to get to work. We played for an hour. So now we have to um, we have to get to work on the project. All right, so this is every Monday here that goes back over there. All right, I've got everything organized fairly well. Okay, so now we're going to work in the Secrets of Coloring 2. If y'all um, didn't know, Jennifer Zimmerman's new book came out. And uh, let's zoom in another one here. I zoom in again, too, but we'll see. Okay. Um, what was Oh, here it is. So I'm going to work on the, uh, I got this new sketchbook of B paper, which is very smooth paper. So I'm going to try this. It may be too smooth. Um, yeah, that may, I better do a little bit, something with a little texture. That might be too smooth. Let's see, where's my sketchbook here? Sketchbook. We'll go with the sketchbook. Yeah, I love it for pens too, Galena, the B paper. And, I, and I'm also doing some brush lettering in it. I have some brush, brush lettering projects on it. But I said, well, yeah, I better. We better go with, um, we better go with something a little more texture. And um, here's all my Arteza gouache that we swatched out. And I started doing, the, doing it on black paper. And then here's where I started swatching out the new Black Widow pencils, which I've not finished yet, that Connie U sent. And we will be, uh, I want to finish swatching these out and we'll be using the Black Widow pencils um, soon. Okay, we'll be using those soon. But today we're going to use Prismacolor for one reason is that... Um, she she does the step by steps and you can do a convert she has a conversion chart all right let me just go ahead and look, do a little peruse first of the book i will say that i have not picked a project yet um i haven't all i've done is swatch them jan and i haven't had time over the weekend with the easter holiday go up the kids and i haven't had time to do anything but just swatch them last friday i think and then saturday show i did the gouache uh, showed the gouache yesterday. We're gone all day. So here we are on Monday. Yeah. So yeah, I haven't had a chance to, to really play with them yet. So hi guys. Hey peeps. Do I see peeps here? Hi peeps. 
Uh, if y'all don't follow Peephole Circus, he is an awesome comic. Well, he does comic and other art too, but um, he has a dark side. No, I just, <laughs> I like his art. I've shown, all right, let's see if I got a little, if I can put my hand right on it. Uh, I showed some of Peep's, ah, here we go. I got Peep's art right here. I think I have it all in this folder. So Peep is in the UK and he and I have exchanged some art. And so anyway, Peep, Peep did this on his show and, and I loved it and he sent it to me. So he also sent me some of those other. Peep is, Peep is awesome. So if y'all follow people, no, this was the one I wanted, I think. This was the cat I wanted. Yeah, for Inktober Day 22, that was the one. So um, yeah, if y'all don't follow Peep, I know People Circus is awesome, guys. Y'all have to follow him. Here's Umbrella Guy. I still want to get this to him. Um, uh, I'm not sure how. Peep, I wonder if I sent it to Ethan, if Ethan would get it to Umbrella Guy. I don't know. So anyway, I love um, <laughs> I love this art. He's just, I know, isn't it cool? Very cool. So I've shown this before when I got it a while back. Yeah. So y'all, y'all go, y'all go follow him. He's, he's really, he's really cool. He did these for Inktober. All I, all I asked him, I said, can I have that one cat? And he sent me all this. All I wanted was this one. <laughs> I know, aren't they fantastic? So yeah, Inkt Inktober last year. So these were what he did last year. So anyway, and he sent them in a little folder here. So, yeah. <laughs> so, y'all follow Peephole Circus. He's, he's, I call him Peeps. <laughs> I call him Peeps. Okay. So, now, I know, aren't they cool? Yeah. Seriously, he's awesome. Okay. So, I have not picked a project. We are going to do it in a sketchbook here. So, let's just get to a blank page here. Let's just get to a blank page. Wait, I got to save a couple extra pages for the swatching of the pencils okay so i have not i've not picked anything i thought we would pick it together but i want to go through the book first so again this is jennifer Zimmer, zimmerman's brand new secrets of coloring two we have worked out of secrets of coloring one and i've also worked out of let's see where's the other picture she has a picture of her color book here too um let's put my hand right on it probably won't be able to I have to flip through a lot here to find it. I should have pulled it out, but um, let's see. I had it handy here recently. I don't know if I can find it right off. Let's see. Yeah, I, it'll take me a while to find it, but there's pictures of the books in here. So when I get to that, I'll show them to you. Okay, so... Uh, a couple of a um, couple of things Jennifer did tell me, you know, that in the and it was true in the, you know, in any of these books, they have the shiny paper. She does. And I covered up the codes. She has codes for if you go to her website where you can print the, some of this out, if you want to print it out on real, real tone tan paper. And I covered up the uh, giveaway codes because, you know, you got to buy the book to get the freebies. Right. So, but there's a couple places where she has codes in here and I covered, I covered up the code, the secret codes. Hi, Eileen. And, uh, yeah. So here's all the information though. If you want to, um, if you want to go find her. Okay. Facebook mod slash modern coloring, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter, modern coloring. Okay, if y'all have any questions, put them in caps. All right, so she does say, thank you, thank you. It's because of you that Secrets of Coloring, the first one, has been a huge success. I'm so blessed to have the support of this amazing coloring community. Friends that believe in my art and my ability to teach what I know. I've received so much positive feedback from colorists around the globe that I'm delighted that these lessons have helped so, Im so many improve their skills. I have read many private messages about how my book has helped 
you to have more confidence and how it has allowed you to create art at a more advanced level. I must admit that being tagged by you or your friends to take a look at your interpretations of my tutorials of coloring pages is so rewarding. I love seeing how these lessons are applied and how they may have supplied you with the finishing touches needed to take your art from good to fantastic. One of my greatest passions is life, in life is helping people learn how to create art they never thought they would be able to do. It is possible with a little guidance. Just believe in yourself. Now, I won't go on to read the rest, but um, I, just let me read this little paragraph about The Secrets of Coloring 2. It's an interactive book with diagrams, visuals, demonstrations, explanations, and step-by-step -step lessons in which you will learn about coloring and drawing supplies, as well as money and time-saving tips. Watch how I do it, then try it yourself. And then it goes on. So there's just so much information. I'll read the chapter contents, getting started, beyond the basics, ingenuous time, stress, and money-saving hacks. Chapter three, coloring pencils, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. <laughs> the elements and principles of art, simple background solutions, dynamic varieties of light and shadow, the parts of light in effect, investigating light, transparent, translucent, opaque, and surface textures, continued. Um, holiday cheer, adding shimmer and pizzazz, the living world, like with skin tones, jungle, forest, uh, coloring pages, and more. So she does give codes in here. Here's her other books here. Um, Bella Futura is the one that I colored the, um, let's see, I think I could find it real quick here on Facebook, because it's, it's in the book, so I can't like find the book right this second and uh, so these are her color books here uh let me go to my facebook here so these are uh no no what that um hang on why is this no i don't want the camera roll i don't want this i don't want this let me go to my Facebook page. So I colored um, it, and it popped up in my feed. I colored it a year ago. So last year, uh, last April, I colored this double page spread. If y'all remember, it's on Facebook. I have, I mean, it popped up on Facebook. So that's why it's easy to uh, find. So I don't, I can't, the page is inside the book and I don't want to take the time to dig for the book right this minute, but this was the left side. And then there's the right side, the, the wolf and she and the wolf are facing each other. So this one is out of Bella Futura. And then there's a side angle of the page. So, um, yeah. Thanks, guys. So, anyway, she has these two color books, Glamorista and Bella Futura. And she has book one, The Secrets of Coloring One. Uh, Beyond the Basics. Um, and, again, I'm, you know, you have to buy the book to get all the little bit tips and hacks and tricks. So, anyway, she does have codes in here because the paper samples is, you know, it's on shiny, you know, shiny book paper. And that's just, you can do marker on this. Marker would go, of course, it's going to go through. You got to, you know, either put something behind it or take the page out. But you can do marker on these pages. But you really, if you want to do anything on like blue paper or tan, tone tan paper, this is not real tone tan paper, right? You can't really put that in a book. But she does give you codes to print out that on your own tone tan paper or your own blue cardstock. So if you want to print this out on, um, on actual real cardstock, with you know textured cardstock, then you can do that because she has codes in here for you to do that. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? I've not picked out a project yet. We're gonna pick one out together. Okay, so um, she gives us step by steps as she always does. Makes sense. Okay, thanks, guys. Um, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet. Uh, it has to be something fairly simple so that we can get through it. I do like that mushroom. And she shows different, look at the different variations of light. 
direct sunlight, diffused ambient light, backlit, and glowy. So she shows you different techniques for different lighting. Thanks, Terry. Terry just put in the link. And I will put the link in the description box after the video renders. And speaking of video rendering, let me give you all a couple of uh, things about watching live shows. Uh, if you do a long, like my shows are three to four hours usually, and with the live chat. It can take an hour to fully render. That means that when you go back to watch the recording, it may take an hour before the full show and the full recording shows up. I get people messaging me almost every single live show. Uh, there's only an hour and a half of your show. Where's the rest of the show? Well, it's not fully rendered through YouTube yet. So you have to give it an hour or so for the full show and the full chat because I do leave the chat up. Um to fully render. So that being said, I will put a link to this book uh, on Amazon. Terry just put it in the description. I mean, in the chat. The other thing is, is make sure if you are here live chat, make sure that you click live chat at the top of the chat window, the chat screen, you'll have live chat or top chat options. If you want to see all the live chat, and that's true on the recording as well. If you want to see all the chat, you have to click live chat. Top chat is the default. So you have to physically click on the little drop down and select live chat. The other thing is if we ever get buffering and you refresh, I'm recording this in 1080p, but if you refresh, sometimes YouTube will default down to 144 and you'll have a very fuzzy video. So make sure that you select in the little wheel, the little setting wheel, you select 1080p. If that's too fast for your particular internet, then take it down to 720. So just there's some information for you if you do watch you, uh, YouTube lives. That's true of all of them, not just mine, right? So just FYI on, uh, on live streams. Making it, I'm trying to make the the make it as good for you as possible. I really like that. Let's. I don't know if she has a, a full tutorial on that particular mushroom or not. Here's a, a candy egg. Oh, look at this pink foil Easter egg. We might have to do a pink foil Easter egg. If we do something like this, she shows this on brown tone tan paper. I will get out some tan tone paper and do that. I'm liking that pink foil Easter egg, guys. I'm thinking we just had Easter yesterday. We might roll with we might roll with this. We might roll with that pink foil Easter egg. Yes, yes, we might. Okay, and she does show you the Prismacolor uh, pencil numbers. And she also has a conversion chart in the back. In the back, she has a conversion chart from the Prismacolor uh, to... Uh, what other ones does she have? But she says popular brands. I think she has pos. I mean, um, uh, what is it? Uh, what do you call it? Ah, uh, um, Black Widow. What's the one I'm thinking of? What is the one I am thinking of? And that would be a good. This would be a good one to use the Black Widows on too. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, did she have it? She has all other color. I mean, other ones. All right, she, this is the one she has in the back. The the Prisma Color versus these brands. But I was thinking the Polys. I thought she had the Polys in here, but maybe she doesn't. Black Widow, the Colleen brand. Um, she, oh, I can't pronounce it. Something Farben. I think it's a German pencil. Castle Marco Rafine. So she has different pencil chart conversions from the Prismacolor. The Prismacolors are right here on the long chart. Then she has these other ones in there as well. Thank you, Terry. Terry said the book is $13.65 on Amazon right now. Um, so anyway, I'm thinking about that. Here's a candy cane. We have the pearl, uh, pearlized blue spiral lollipop, purple heart. We got the little um, the little candy corn, a candy gummy bear. Have the gummy bear. Oh, she went with the budget ones. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lynette. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, it's the budget pencils. 
that she has back there. Okay. And again, she does have codes that I've covered up where you can get the PDF to print out on um, the, if you want to use a tone tan paper or a color cardstock paper, she gives you um, the codes to print that out. Here's a little booty. Here's a full on leather cowboy boot all in purple. Isn't it cool guys? Look, um, a uh, shiny Christmas ribbon. Another shiny there. And then now we're getting over here into um, the living world. So she has a little girl here where she's showing. This one's showing how to do the clothing. I'm probably missing a lot in chat, guys. Yeah. Uh, but I'll tell you what we will do. I think we're going to do this today in Prismacolor. I've not even finished swatching out uh, the Black Widow. But I think what we'll do is the next project out of here, we'll use the Black Widow conversion chart and do the Black Widow. That will be cool, right? Okay, so let's keep going here. Some eyes, skin tones, dark skin tones. Uh, look, here's the girl that I did. In the, that's the girl that I did on um, out of her color book. Yeah. Uh, glowing faces, different skin tones and glows. Here's the mushroom with the, um, with the glow. Shows you how to do the glow. Here's a bird of paradise flower. Why am I talking like that? I don't know. <laughs> a betta fish. Cats out there trying to get in. So there's just so many projects here, guys. And then she does give you um, the different ones on different kinds of paper, right? Now, here's a thing that I would recommend because it's a shiny paper. If you wanted to do these in, uh, if you wanted to do these in, um, marker you could you could do that right and they are one-sided so it won't matter if it goes through but um i would use these as to make copies on make a copy of it on on tone tan and if you want the pdf where you can make it any size you want then she has codes in here for that because the paper that comes in these books is obviously not you know the textured tone tan more expensive paper you know, oh, I love those. Love that right there. So anyway, guys, it's an awesome book. Again, covering up codes. And then the charts in the back. So I think we're going to do this. I am going to put this away and get some tone tan. I think I'll get a piece of tone tan cardstock. Let me find my cardstock. Uh, tone tan cardstock. There's my I'm going to do with it. Oh, here it is. Mm. And I do have Connie's Connie's uh, lizard. Oh, I don't want to call him a lizard dragon, dragon lizard. I have him sketched out to do. I've got to get to that too. So, okay. so here's what we're gonna do. So this is the tone tan mixed media. You can get the tone tan sketchbook paper too. Uh, the thing about the tone tan mixed media paper is it's a thick, thick cardstock, right? So I'm gonna take out one of these. It, what's the weight on this? It's a nine by 12. It's 140. I mean, I'm sorry, 184 pound or 300 GSM um, weight. It's a heavy, heavy card stock in the tone tan mixed media pad. You can also get tone tan paper in the sketchbook and you can get tone tan gray uh, as well. Okay, we're just going to use the tone tan um, card stock. All right. Yeah. I love the mix me. Me too, Beth. All right. So we're going to do this. Now I'm just going to draw it. Uh, I'm just going to draw it myself. I'm going to draw it bigger. Uh, I'm not going to fill this whole page because we'd never get done. Maybe about, you know, maybe about this big. <laughs> like right there in the middle. All right. So let's get a pencil and sketch it out. You know, um, but you know, guys, remember a lot of, uh, a lot of what you want to do. Let me put it on here. I think for, let's, let's go this way. So I have it a little taller so I can do all this together. All right. So hopefully we're not too flashed out. We're good here. Need to quit buying and get crack a lacking. Yeah. Well, don't we all? But we, we're, uh, we're enablers, Jean, uh, Jeannie Mama 4. We're enablers around here. <laughs> Let's face it. Okay. So 
Um, let's see what it says. You will need the Candy Shop Faux Tone Tan Paper Line Art Page. Well, I'm just going to draw it. So it may not look exactly, you know, but that's okay. The thing about, even if you draw it a little bigger, a little small, you know, this size or whatever, if you sketch it out, you're practicing your drawing. And also, guys, you want to learn the techniques, not just how to copy this. You want to learn how to do this technique so that when you come to the point of this is to learn the technique. So when you go to your color books, you will learn how you will know how to do this technique, not just copy this exact egg. We're going to do that today. But the, the idea is to learn the, the, the secrets. OK, uh, I have not pulled Pit Prismacolor. And that's always a thing, too. I have to always look. Think, what, what color is that? Because I don't know my Prismacolor numbers. I do not know my numbers well. So I have got to dig out those those colors and I'll try to try to look for them by just looking at the pictures. But I do not have my colors memorized. Um, let's and it maybe let's do, let me look at the chart maybe that would help me yeah i think that chart would help me to see what color is what okay so we're going to need let me just write it down the colors we're going to need where's my pen oh, i'll just go with the pencil i was going to hope for you to see them okay so we're going to need prismas 1038 938, 994, 995, 1036, 931. I think 931 is black. I think that's only 1099 and 1077 colorless blender. All right. Now the thing I don't, I don't like blender pencils, even though when I do use it, I use the Derwent one, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. If I have to, I'll dig it out. <laughs> Okay, uh, and she also says a white luminance pencil. I do have the white luminance, but I got to say, you know, uh, I am a white Prisma. To me, nothing works better than the white Prisma. Although people swear the luminance is just as good or if not better, the white luminance. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to use the white Prisma. Bye, Connie. Which Connie was here? I don't know if it was Connie you. Uh, I didn't see her come in and I didn't see her go. So, yeah, Connie, you. Okay, Connie, if you're still here, if you've gone, um, we are going to do a project with the pencils. Connie used the one that sent me the Black Widow pencil sets. And we're going to do another project out of here maybe next week because uh, I still have to swatch all the pencils. Uh, we're going to do a project out of this book because she um, – um, she has a uh, chart back here with a conversion chart for the Black Widow. So we're going to test those out. Okay. So those are the colors we're going to need. All right. So that being said, let's go ahead and read some of the stuff she says here because we're going to follow this step by step. Let's put this back up here. Well, I'm going to need to go back here to look because it'll be easier to look at the colors rather than just the numbers. Okay. All right, so let's sketch her, sketch it out. Okay. Hi, Karen. If I miss saying hi to you, please do not be offended. Uh, hi, Bridget. Shelly, I, um, I am not ignoring you. Don't forget also, guys, if you want to ask me something, put it in caps. All right, so let's go ahead and just kind of sketch out probably about this big. Okay. We're going to sketch out this egg here. About this big. And I will clean up the lines. I just want to sketch it out first. Okay. About that big. It's a little wider over here. You know, let's go a little bit like that. Something like that. Thank you, Terry. Terry's putting links in the book. Okay. And then... I shouldn't do this with my hand. I should do it with a brush. When you when you, when you do this with your hand all the time, brush away the uh, crumbs. You're putting oils on it, which can interfere with your pencil work. If you if you're if you're oily, <laughs> Cam, that's really cute. I showed y'all a couple things Cam had in his sketchbook. Um, he 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 caught what did he call it? Man man smudge. 
you know, because he would draw things and he'd you know be all man man smudged because <laughs> he wasn't careful at all about smudges or anything. And uh, but it's really um, it's really it was really cute. But let me let me go back over here. Hang on. I go back to my pictures here. Let me show you one of his sketches. I don't know if it will show up. Okay, so here's one of the sketches that he let me take a picture of that he's working on. Okay, let's take a close look at it. Okay. Here's, I don't know if you can see his sketchy smudginess. And there it's always gone when he gets done. But you can see you can see smudges. But look, then look how pretty it turns out when he gets up to the so there's some of Cameron's art there. And uh oh yeah, that's right, Connie. You were in Chicago and couldn't keep a signal. I did show you the pencils that you sent. Thank you so much. We're gonna do a project with them. And uh, here's another one of Cameron's uh, pieces right there. <clears throat> and he he is a marker and pencil guy. So this is mostly Copics, uh, mostly Copics with some other, I don't know, white, looks like some white pencil right there. And then she's got her little freckles and she's got white highlights, but he's a, he's a Copic, he's a Copic kid. I know. Okay, Deb. All right. So anyway, I showed that to say that you should really, you know, if you, you use a pencil, don't be doing a lot of, you know, manhandling it. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead. And again, it's not going to be the exact shape. Uh, let's see. I think that needs to be a little bigger there because I am expanding this and a little. It's like the little shell lip or whatever, you know. there and a little bit down here on the bottom something like that and it's you know it's kind of light he takes after <laughs> he he's drawn all his life um and and back when he was probably you know when he was born up until you know when he first started getting on the computer you know, probably about two, maybe he'd be able to sit on my lap and learn how to use the mouse. And so he was gaming with me when he was like two. <laughs> so he's, um, he's always been real good on the computer and real, um, always interested in art. Boo's always like to craft things. She likes to make like dimensional things. And, um, but here's the thing with Boo, even though I would show her how to use, that she knows how to use all the tools and the cutters and the glues and all that stuff. She has always been one to go on YouTube and figure, find a video on it and follow it step by step. She loved, loved doing that. Of course, then she got into cheer, uh, professional cheerleading. And so um, then, of course, there was no time for anything else. But um, I did take her that diamond painting. I didn't ask her about it this last time. I mean, I took her the one I finished, but I also bought her one to work on. I haven't asked her how far she's got on it, but we'll see. We'll see if she enjoys that. Okay, so my egg's a little taller and thinner than this one, but that's okay. We'll still, we're still going to, it's still going to work. Okay, so let's do some of the... Um, Got like three. I'm trying to do it as similar as I can, but I'm not. Uh, you know, it's okay. We're, we we want to try to learn to do it on our own. You got to do that. Got to do that. Okay. And again, if you're the person that sent the cats their treats. And me those post-it notes, you know, fess up. Let me know who sent it. If not, I'm going to have to go message Sharon L. And see if it was her. Because she's usually the post-it note girl. And it's, I'm thinking it's her. Unless somebody wants to fess up and tell me who sent me those. If y'all weren't here at the beginning this morning. <laughs> and saw those cat treats and post-it notes that came in happy mail. Oh my gosh, that was hilarious. All right, that's that's pretty good there. All right, so let, let me just clean up my lines a little here. Okay. 
Okay, so it's just, it's supposed to be a pink foil Easter egg. So you can see here, like, this is like the paper foil, like, bent over on the top and the bottom here a little bit. And then, you know, there's a little bit of a shadow down here. And I'll pop that on. I'll keep it on the page. Something like that. Okay, so there we go. All right. Okay, Marie. All right, so now let's do this. Oh, let's pick the pencils, and then we're going to go step by step. I did not read ahead, which you probably should do that, guys, because you might need to know what's coming up uh, when you're doing these step by steps, but usually I just go for it. <laughs> No, it's terrible, isn't it? All right, so let's go ahead and find the pencils. I do have a complete set of Prismacolor in my pencil cases here, so it shouldn't be too hard to find them. All right, so let's see here. <clears throat> let, me put, uh, let me put this brush back here so I can get right back to my page. I like the way you're always holiday coordinating. <laughs> well, I didn't do it on purpose. I just thought, oh, my gosh, I love that foiled egg. All right, so. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be very uh, easy to do or not. But I have to find the pencils. I want to use the exact same pencils that she's using, right? Okay. And sadly, they're not in numerical order. I don't know. We might be here for a while. Y'all might want to get something to drink or something. I'm looking for 1038. Okay. If there's anybody here that's Prismacolor user that uses them all the time if y'all want to help tell me like is 103a is that you know a pink a blue a black or what because i do not have my colors memorized if y'all want to help um if you want to help me find the okay 103a because we're going to be here well i should have i didn't think about this guys sorry i should have pulled the pencils beforehand don't email me oh there it is light pink okay 103a now I can know where to look, see? I can look right here. And of course, they're always like silver on. It's a light pink. Should be one of these, but it's not one of these. <laughs> well, it, this is a swatch, right? Here's the thing. Oh, you got your swatch book? Yeah, this is as good as a swatch here, but they're not numerical. Is your swatch, is, is it's neon pink. Okay. Ah, here we go. Thank you. Neon pink told it to me. But you see, look, you can't get an exact color. This is going to be much more neon, right, than the, than the sample. But that's, you know, that's just the way of it. <laughs> okay. So we got neon pink. Next number is... 938, which I think is 938 bl black. I'm not sure. No, 935 is black, and we don't need that one. Okay, 938. We're looking for 938, CL, Christine. 938. <laughs> 938 is white. Okay, well, I got uh, white sitting right here. Okay, 938. All right, so we got 938. Next is 994. Let me write this next to it because I might need to, uh, might be helpful. Where did my pencil go? Good grief. Come on, guys. I'm not very organized today, am I? Okay, so this is neon. This is white. Uh, next is 994. 994, Christine. <laughs> Process red is 99. <laughs> Everybody's going, woo. Okay, 994. 994 is processed red. Okay, that's kind of like magenta here. Let's go back over this one. 994. Ah, got it. Okay, that's processed red. Got 994. Next is 995, which I'm sure is not right next to 99. 995 is mulberry. Okay. <laughs> you guys, are, I'm telling you, they're on it. They're on it. 995. That's magenta. 
995. Where is my 995? It should be right here. If it's, if, uh, what did you say it was? 995 is mulberry. What's the prize? <laughs> a big thank you. Uh, let's see. 995. Why can't, why isn't it here? I usually have all my pencils, like, they may not be in order, but they, okay, it's not here. Did I not put my magenta back? I might not have. I might not have put it back. I might have just thrown it in my bucket over here. Okay, let me pull some of these colors and see if I can find $9.95 here. Hang on, guys. We're going to find it. We'll find it eventually. Did we say, did you say it was mulberry? Okay, here it is. I got a mulberry here out of my other stack. Okay. $9.95 is mulberry. All right, 1036. 1036. <clears throat> I'll be looking on my chart and you guys, I'll keep glancing over there. 1036. Christine, do you have yours? Bingo. <laughs> yeah. Bingo! <laughs> Good one, card. Okay, so Pacola and you guys that are finding these so quick, do you have yours in numerical order? Neon orange. Okay, what do we say? 1036. Do you guys have um do you guys have yours in in numerical order? For real? You have a list. Oh, Pacola, I need your list. 931. 931 is the next one. There's 930. It's in the pink family. What's 931? 931. Bingo. <laughs> I love that card. Dark purple. Okay. 931 is a dark purple. All right. Let's look over here. 931, dark purple. Next time I'll pull them, guys. I really didn't think it would be like, take me this long. <laughs> you do not, you don't have them memorized, Robin. Blick has a good list. Thanks, Azure. Okay, so next we have 1099. 1099. I was trying to find them quicker than you guys, but I'm not. Oh, here. Now that's one. Oh, oh, no. I need 1099. We're having fun. I will. We always have fun. Stop laughing at me, peeps. <laughs> no, it's okay. You can laugh. Oh, espresso. Okay. So 1099. Espresso. Oh, good. good. I have so many brands that could be espresso. <laughs> One oh nine nine. Come on, come on, come on. Do I put it over here? No, that's sepia. We'll find it, guys. We'll find it. One oh nine nine espresso. It shouldn't be that hard to find. I'm not finding espresso, guys. Do I did I throw that in the bucket too accidentally? Mm, reds, oranges, clay. Where's my espresso? There's one on my five. Okay, I'm not finding Tuscan red. I'm not finding espresso. A very dark brown. Okay. I'm just seeing if I put it in the wrong place. Very dark brown. See? It, there's sepia. Very dark brown. Here's chocolate. This one is dark brown. Why am I not finding dark umber? Why am I not finding espresso? All right. Hang on. Let me get out another thing. Uh, see if I can find it in here. <laughs> 
I, they're not in any order, guys. My pencils are not in like box order. Okay, they're not in box order. I try to keep them all similar, you know. Okay, I'm looking for 1099. It's umber. Black cherry. If I can't find it, I'll just go with dark brown. Sepia. Tuscan red. Terracotta. Okay, I'm not finding it. I'm not finding espresso. So, yeah. We're just going to go with dark brown. Yeah. <laughs> is that, is, somebody tell me, is dark brown close to espresso? Because I can't find espresso right now. <laughs> We're going to go with dark brown. Okay. Um, it's espresso. I'll make the note. I'm going to use 946. I'm going to use 946, which is dark brown. Because I can't find my espresso. Okay. Did you check near your grays? Yeah. But it's, if it's dark brown, it should stand out. I'm even looking in the dark grays. See, here's my dark grays here. Oh, there it is. It's more gray. It's more gray than brown. Okay. We got it. Okay. We're going to get to the project eventually. <laughs> I drank it. Okay. So it was, it's more gray. All right. So express out then. Um, 1077. Is that the colorless blender or is that another number? What's 1077? There's 1076. What's 1077? 1077. That is the blender. 1077 is the blender. I couldn't hear you shout it. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Sorry, Christine. Yeah, I didn't hear you yelling at me. <laughs> Hi, Joey. Anybody else I'm missing? Okay, so is 1077 the blender? Or is it another color? <laughs> this is fun, though. I'm having fun. I'm looking. 78 is a purple. What are we doing, Connie? I don't know. It is the blender. Okay, so I'm not going to use the Prismacolor blender. This is just me, guys. I do not like the Prismacolor blender. Don't email me. Don't don't tell Prismacolor I said that. I do not like the Prismacolor blender. It's scratchy. So what we're going to use, if we do need a blender, hang on. If we do need a blender, we're going to use, which I have in here, the Derwent blender. That's the burnisher blender. If we need a blender, which I don't even like to use blenders, we're going to use a Derwent blender. Okay, so now we have our colors. All right, let's get back to our piece here. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so I got our colors now. All right, let's move that pad off of there. I don't need that. Oops. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's go back to our piece now. Get that organized. All right, we're on it, people. <laughs> we're on it. <laughs> All right, so now let's see. Let's pick a pencil sharpener, and let's make sure we're sharpened up here. Uh, there's a couple here that I need to sharpen real quick. That one's good for start. I'm anxious to use these uh, neons. I never use my neons. So I'm anxious to use the neons. Okay. I'll even sharpen my blender. All right. We're good. We're good, people. We're ready. <laughs> it only took us 15 minutes. Okay. Um, the watercolors have agreed not to email TD on our choice of pencil blender. Thank you, Faithful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see what we're going to do here. The first step, I begin by using my 1038 neon pink. Okay, so she does say something. Oh, well, good grief. 
Oh my gosh. She does say what the colors are here. <laughs> I told y'all, read ahead. Read ahead. Jennifer, she's going to watch it. She's going, Dee Dee, Dee Dee, Dee Dee. Hey, Dee Dee, I wrote down the color names. <laughs> Sorry, Jennifer. I begin by using my 1038 not neon pink to fill in all the vertical sections, but leave an uncolored circular area just right of center. So right in here, we're not coloring. <laughs> Thank you, CL, and all you guys uh, for the help. Okay, so we're gonna use um, we're gonna use a neon pink, and she's just kind of filling in in between the the egg, you know, the the lines there. Can can y'all see my lines? I want to keep it very light because I don't want to. Actually, I I really want to even erase some of this even a little bit lighter because I don't want. I don't want my graphite to interfere, right? I don't want my graphite to interfere with the um, pencil. <laughs> McFly! Yes! Yes, card! McFly! <laughs> Everybody's rolling their eyes at me. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> I told y'all to read ahead. Do as I say, not as I do. So I'm just going to put a light coat. Kind of. She actually leaves a bigger area than I'm leaving. All right. <laughs> Hi, Susie. Coloring Cottage. <laughs> oh, thank you for the super chat, Jane. Thank you, Jane. Very sweet. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Pacola. All right, we're getting there, guys. <laughs> it's 10 30, 11 30. We still have a couple hours that we can use. We have a couple hours. We got, you know, we, we'll finish up by uh, 12 30. <laughs> And don't forget, as far as I know, Janet streams at one. And I don't, Jean usually streams at four, but she has her, she has company. So I'm not sure if she's going to be streaming today or not. But Janet, who is here, y'all follow her so that you can, uh, I have no idea what she and, and we usually put Eileen in the mix because Eileen's usually bossing Janet around. Okay, so I'm just kind of leaving the area here in the middle because that's going to be the, the highlight there. Am I good in camera here? Okay, Janet says she will be streaming. Jean is not. Okay. All right, let's see what we got going here, guys. Yeah, Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer, for putting the color names in here that I didn't even see. My bad. All right, so there's kind of like step one. Uh, then she goes in, and, and she kind of shows you. Let me show this here. She kind of shows you the direction. See the little dot? She's kind of showing you the direction that this goes, kind of rounded. Can you all see that in step one there? Sketch with watercolor pencils, and it will disappear when picture is done. Uh, yeah, I don't like to put water medium on. Well, I guess I could. I, it's okay. I, this is how I always do it. I always sketch with pencil. So it just I it goes away because I <laughs> erase it out. Uh, but, yeah, you could do that. Sketch with watercolor pencil if you want. Okay. So let's see now. Um do I have enough on there? It looks like I, I'm looking at about the same amount of pencil that she has on hers. Okay. All right. Next, I use my white 938 to lightly cover over the vertical line art to tone down the vertical line art. So she's going right along. She's going right along the the line art which I don't you know I'm trying to really keep no line art you know 
So I'm going to just kind of go on either side here. I mean, I can have a little bit. She, it looks like, here's what she does with her line art. Looking ahead, she's using the mulberry. Here, let's just go ahead and do that. That's dark purple. She's using the mulberry. She's going over her line art eventually down here. She's going over her line art with mulberry. So I am just going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go ahead and draw. I'm going to go ahead and draw with the mulberry. Because that's what's eventually going to, she goes over her line art with. So let's just kind of map it in there a little bit. I'm just looking at where she she puts the mulberry. Because again, guys, the purpose of this is to show you how to do foil, right? Not necessarily how to do a foil Easter egg. It's to show you how to do foil. Like in, if you have that, you come across a shiny something, and it doesn't even have to be foil. It can be something shiny. Squirrel, um, it could be something shiny in your color book pages. And this will show you how to do a pink foil. <laughs> All right, so um, let's see. She does have, and it comes around here. Jennifer's probably going to say, um, Dee Dee, you know, I'm not sure I want you to do any more demos out of my book. <laughs> Helen either, probably. Helen's going to go, I don't know. I don't know about this, Dee Dee. <laughs> Hi, Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so eventually there's this line art is all going to be mulberry anyway, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and we'll put it in here. And then I can kind of get rid of some of the pencil if I need to. Like right here and get rid of some of the graphite, I mean. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if these uh, artists are going to want me to do more demos in their books. <laughs> we got to have some fun, guys, you know. There we go. All right, so there's the there's our egg there. All right, so now let's go back to the white. So now what she's doing is white to go like on either side. She's kind of going on either side of the line art, which now we have mulberry, right? So I'm just going to kind of lightly do, I'm going to do what she says. I'm trying to do a step by step. So that you know how to follow directions. <laughs> we got to learn how to follow directions. <laughs> oh, Terry. Oh, please. I'm, I'm kidding, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm just having fun with it, you know. But, you you know, you find out things when you, when you try to follow instructions. I know it's hard for all of us. It's hard for all of us to follow instructions. Oh, so I'm just kind of going on either side of the. And again, guys, if you want uh, some PDF printouts, you know, when you buy the book, she has codes in the book. So if you want to print some stuff out, you know, on on tone tan paper. Yeah, I know, right, Linda? All right, so now we did that. Three. I then used 994 Process Red to color in the top half of the egg, avoiding the uncolored areas and the edges of each vertical section. So what she's doing here, now she's going on top. Can you all see that? Where she's putting the Process Red on top of the pink, on top of this pink and again she is avoiding this section in here so she's really working on the top part and I'm I'm going I'm trying to 
emulate the amount of pressure it looks like she has on hers. You know, I'm trying to do about the same amount of coverage that I can see in the picture. If we need to, we'll go back and add more. Looks like she's leaving a little bit of pink on the top. So it's kind of making it round, you know. And then right in here, there's kind of a, a blank area for highlighting. And I'm trying to kind of keep the consistency of the shape. Hi, Sharon. Katie, Chandra, Pat. Yeah, well, we we all do that, Pat. But I'm trying to I'm trying to show how you can you can follow directions if you put your mind to it. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's just keep uh, let's keep going here. I am trying to glance over chat. If you want to ask me or talk to me, guys, put it in caps. And she goes right up to this little lip here on this section. This will be more shadow right under here, I guess, eventually. And, uh, <laughs> I'll follow direction once then I might find the right yeah and that's why I said guys too when you when you get these kind of books where they're step by step you should really read ahead because you may be able to like combine a couple things but I'm trying my best to follow the instructions for the purpose of following the instructions <laughs> in the book you know but, you know, nobody's saying you can't, like, look ahead and say, okay, well, I see eventually this color is going to be darker, so I might as well go ahead and do it darker now. I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying uh, purposefully to follow the instructions. <clears throat> Okay, so kind of about like that, I think, is what we got so far. This side doesn't have as quite as much dark because it's going to have a highlight on that side, I think. All right. Next, I use Mulberry uh, 995. I mean, 995. Yeah, Mulberry. Going back to Mulberry to emphasize the vertical lines by drawing dashed lines on top. Dashed lines. Oh, okay. So she's drawing... She's 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 adding some thickness to areas. She's kind of dashing in here. Um, can y'all see that? How I'm how I'm kind of putting dash lines in there. So it's not like one thick heavy line. She's and it's just kind of random, it looks like. She's just kind of picking out areas. I should sharpen this pencil. <clears throat> Can you all see that? You see it? Thank you, Linda. All right. And hi, Linda, by the way. It's been a while since I've seen Linda. Kind of more at the top and the bottom. And then kind of intersperse.
We can always add, go back and add more if we need to. All right. <clears throat> yeah, see, so she says use this motion. See, she's kind of just... Oops, sorry. Here. See? All right. Next. After that, I focus on the top and bottom wrinkle foil areas. Adding diagonal strokes with 1038 again. Is that the pink? Yeah, the neon pink. So now she's going to go this away, right? And she does have, let me go back to my mulberry, because she does have a couple little lines in it. Come like that. Okay. And there is a little bit more mulberry shadow, like right along the lip of this. So let's put a little more. Let's put a little extra oomph. <laughs> you like that? Too? This away? This away and that away and any old way? Oh, well, trust me. If I wanted to do some southern, you know, <laughs> I could do it. <laughs> I try not to do too much of that because, you know. We don't, you know, we I we all joke about our southern accent down in the south, but you know, as soon as you do that, someone's gonna go, Oh, you're making fun of no, no, we can make we make fun of ourselves here. We can do that and still out and still live. <laughs> uh, it's nice to be able to make fun of yourself and laugh at yourself and still um and still have a life. <laughs> okay, so anyway, oh yeah. Kind of go up that way with this. Get that shape in there. All right. So let's go back up here with a little bit more. She's kind of going the way that, you know, this is the way that the paper would fold over. Paper would fold over this way, right? And she's kind of keeping the contour of the of the shape. And over here it kind of comes a little out this way. We don't have an accent. It's the rest of the people. <laughs> there you go, CV. <laughs> there you go, Cheryl. All right. So, and we again, we might we might need to go and add some more. But all right. So that she focused on the top and bottom of the wrinkled areas, adding diagonal strokes with the ten thirty eight, which is the neon pink. Okay, so we got that in there. Now we're going on to number six. We're making progress, people. I create variety. Well, she doesn't have it in quotes. She has it in italics. I create variety with 1036 neon. Is that the neon orange? Yeah, neon orange. Adding it along the top, along here, the top of the uh, wrinkle, mainly on the left. So right in here, she's using a lot of the orange. I deepen above below the wrinkle sections with 931 dark purple. So let's get 931 dark purple. Okay. So here's what she's doing. And I might have to go back in here with some more pink. But she's adding the uh, variety. So she's adding the orange. along here is this fun for you guys i'm having fun <laughs> and here's the cover of the book again if y'all want to look it up on amazon terry's put in links a few times but it's the secrets of coloring to jennifer zimmerman it's her second uh tutorial book Okay, she's doing a little bit down here, but she's focusing mostly right in this area. Okay, so let's just start with that. And then she goes in with the deep purple and darkens a, right along the edges here. And again, I'll have to go back to the orange. And <clears throat> she might be using the blender pencil 
I would normally just go back in here with the orange on top of this and blend with the pencil, but we're gonna we're gonna try to do everything she says at first, then we can break the rules. <laughs> Hi Sue. Bye, Camille. Thank you for stopping in. Anybody else I missed? Thanks, guys. <laughs> She's, she adds definition to and around the wrinkles, which these are the wrinkles. Well, she's not showing up here yet. That's coming in a minute. And it's probably just the same thing. She adds definition to and around the wrinkles and lightly on top of the 990 for the lined areas. And then she goes back in with espresso to even darken it more. Okay, so we're going to do this here. No, it's a wrapper, Terry. It's the foil wrapper. <laughs> Stay with the tour, Terry. It's a foil wrapper. <laughs> Girl. Girl. All right. So let's see here. So I can always already see I'm gonna add need more pink and more color. Just as there's a start, <laughs> start to the shading. <laughs> you spit some drink. <laughs> yeah, Terry. Oh, it's a wrapper. Girl. Okay. So then she does have a little bit more um, in the wrinkles here. The wrinkles in the egg, Terry. Now I'm going to start looking more at the picture than the directions here. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to do some more of the same thing up here at the top, not quite as deeply. But then what she does, to finish, she uses a Luminance White highlight in here. Well, I'm not going to use, and I'm, again, I'm not done yet. I'm just kind of, I'm skipping ahead. <laughs> okay, to, she does the white in here, and I'm going to use my Prismacolor. And then I'm going to go back in and blend all this down. I need I need more color in here. I didn't you got to blend them together, right? I just layered on the initial color, but now I've got to go back in here and blend all this together. I'll read ahead in just a minute. Okay, and then she's got some white down in here. And she's got some white right along the edge here of the wrapper. Highlighting the foil here. Okay, so there's our start. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right, so let me read the rest of what she says. To finish the Luminance White Highlights, I'm just using Prismacolor. Uh, to fill the center of the uncolored area, plus a few of the vertical lines at the top and the bottom of the wrinkles. I blend the imperfections with the ten, the blender. She's going to use the blender pencil. I add a 1099 cast shadow. Oh, wait. we got to go back here. Let's go back with the espresso because she does put some espresso in here, too, to make a nice hard contrast here. So she is going to be using some extra dark, some espresso in some of these deeper shadows. Okay, so we'll end up doing more of that too. Same thing for up here. This is going to be shadows up underneath, up underneath the top of the fold right there. See the fold? So that'll be some espresso too. And then she uses, let's go back up here. She uses the espresso underneath. I'll go ahead and put some down here.
and I'll I'll smooth this out. We'll we'll practice. We'll play with the blender down here, because I'm not I don't I'm not a blender gal. Um, I just do it all with pencil. Okay, so let's just put a little bit right there. I don't know why. I just don't seem to have much luck with blenders. I just do so much better with uh, with uh, pencil, blending, blending back and forth with pencil. But I'll do a little test of a uh, blender right under here. <clears throat> this needs to be rounded here. Okay. Man smudging. <laughs> Hi, Anne. Uh, Anne has a new video up, too. She's been doing secret acrylic pours, apparently. <laughs> she's been uh, she's been holding out on those secret acrylic pours, haven't you, Anne? <laughs> All right, so let's test the blender. Um, and again, I don't like the Prismacolor blender. It's scratchy to me. The best blender, and let me, I'll do both. I'll do the Derwent and I'll do the Luminance blender. But, um... Here's a, here's a little bit of one here. I just don't like the Prismacolor blender. I do have the Prismacolor blender. Maybe I'll do a little test here. Let's see. Not on not on this page. Uh, let's just do it here. We'll, we'll go with the purple. Okay. So I'm going to do a little. I'll do a little test over here. Okay. Oh, thank you, Devin, for the for the super chat. Thanks for all the joyful technique and awesome inspiration, Dee Dee. Well, thank you. Thanks so much, Devin. That's so sweet. Thanks, guys. Oh, Terry's got to leave. Okay. Thank you so much for the super chat. That's very sweet. Make sure you email me. Email me your address, and I'll I send out little art thank yous to people at super chat or PayPal tip jar me. But I I need your addresses. If you would, if you don't have to, obviously, but if you want a little piece of art or something, then uh, email me your address so I can send that out to you. Um, oh, wait, Terry's leaving. Let me hang on. I gotta say bye to Terry here. There we go. Bye, Terry. Have a good day. You're welcome. Okay, so here we have, I'm just going to put, I'm gonna put, let me put two colors down, see how well we can get them to blend. Um, let's do these, let's do the, well, that's too much, too close. Let's do a, let's do the lighter color here. And we'll just see what happens. I want to see if I can smooth this out and see if, if it helps blend them together. Okay, so I'm going to kind of go. Let's kind of go over each other right there in the middle. Do that here too. Oh, it's the wrong one. We'll do a little bit of a blend. We don't want to make the blender work too hard. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to, where's a pen? I, I, why do I never have a pen? Here? Okay, so we're going to go with the, We'll go with the Prisma, the Derwent Blender, and the Lumi, the Lumi, Luminance, which I call Lumis. Okay, so we've got the Prisma, the Derwent, and the Lumi. So let's see what happens. All right, we're going to start with the Prisma color, which is going to drive me crazy because it's scratchy. <laughs> oh, thank you. Email me. Yeah, email me your address. Okay, so let's start over here on the end here where we're just going to try to. We'll go one way and we'll go the other way. Can y'all see? I don't want to zoom in too much because I want the full book and everything to show while we're doing the project. So I'll, I'll hold it up here in a minute. And it's so scratchy. I see lines in it. Um. Uh, uh, Meh, meh. <laughs> okay, now let's try to kind of blend the two together here. I just don't like the way it feels. It feels like I'm digging in, I'm scratching in, scratching into the pencil. 
I'm trying to different angles here, you know, to try to get it to blend. I'm just never been a fan of the Prismacolor blender. I love Prismacolors are my favorite pencils, but I don't love the blender. Hi, Bonnie. Okay, so now let's, you always want to make sure you clean off. See, I don't, you can probably see it, but there's a little bit of pigment came off of that. Now I'm going into a lighter color. So if I go into this lighter color and I have that dark purple pigment on there, it's going to make a mark over there. So you want to kind of, you know, clean off your, and that's true with white pencil too. Now, oh, the other thing I'm going to do, let me do one more test down here. No blender. This is just a little rabbit trail here, guys. All right, so what color did I use? Did I use this? Oh, let me see. Did I use these two colors? So I'm going to show you how to do with no blender. Okay, so we're going to start with that. Put some pink over here. Go in the middle. I'm trying to replicate what we've already done right there as a start, okay? <clears throat> okay, now, so there's the Prismacolor Blender. And, I mean, I can actually see the wax, like, making... I'll, sh I'll hold it up to the camera in a minute. Let me try to blend those together as much as I can. I mean, I can see the pencil wax marks. Not a fan. <clears throat> trying to go to all different angles so that we can blend it as much as possible. I feel a sneeze coming off. Let me mute, mute myself. Okay, I muted my sneeze. Okay. All right, not a fan. Okay, next we're going to go with the Derwent blender, which if I have to use a blender, I'll use Derwent. Mm -mm. All right, so again, let's go ahead and I'll hold it up closer so you can see it in a minute, guys. Well, let me go ahead and zoom in, then I'll zoom back out. Hopefully I won't lose my color. Sometimes I mess my mess my stream up by doing this, but we're going to we're going to go with it here. Okay. <clears throat> All right. See how much faster that's working and it's not making pencil, it's not making a waxy pencil line. Okay, so I'm gonna start trying to blend together here. Clean off the tip. You can't see that there. See how much came off right there? That came off just from doing that. Okay, now let's go up here to the lighter. <clears throat> now I want to go a different direction. Okay, now we're going to go with the Luminance Karn Dosh Lumi Pencil Blender. Okay. Which is made for Karn Dosh Luminance, right? Which is not as waxy as this is, but uh, we're going to go with it anyway. I'm trying to get the pencil marks out and blend at the same time. It's not wanting to blend this light into the medium very well. 
All right. Does the paper quite probably will affect the blender? How the, this is, you know, a, a, a slightly slight texture sketchbook paper. You know, now if I did this on shiny paper, but here's the thing, guys, let's be real. The paper that we're going to color on most color book pages, it's going to be like this. It's going to be a very slight tooth, very slight tooth to the paper that most color books are going to have. There's like the googly, googly. It has more of a watercolor. There's the uh, all the way to the Bennett Klein, which is um, what you call it, uh, you know, Amazon paper which is like copy paper. So you're going to have a variety of papers from very textured to no texture or very little. But most color book paper is going to be just your, you know, slightly toothed paper. Okay. All right. So let me show you this real quick. See if you can see. Uh, I'll see if you can get a shine on there or whatever. Or so you can see the, you know, this is just very, still very scratchy. And I can see, you may not be able to, but I can see like shiny wax lines in it. There, there, there. I had it for a minute. <laughs> had it for a minute. There we go. See the shiny wax on the Prisma when you burnish it or blend it? Now I want to show you, I'm going to do it here with this. No blender. Okay, we're going to get back to our picture in a minute. We're about, you know, a little, we're three quarters of the way done. Okay, all right, now here I'm going to use the three, I'm going to use, the, let me sharpen. I'm going to use the, um, mul is it mulberry? What color were we using? Yeah, mulberry, neon pink, and white. Okay, now I'm going to use this. And I do have a mark there, guys. There was a mark in my pen. I'm going to have to fight that line right there. Uh, I There's a scratch in the paper, like a scratch, and I went over that scratch. So there is that. That's already in the paper. I'll see if I can try to cover it up a little bit. I did scratch the paper with a fingernail or something. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I blend with no blender. It does take longer. It does take longer. Because you got to do nice, soft, white layers. And this does take practice. You 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 know you 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 won't pick up Prisma colors your very first try. I should probably look at chat. Putting Derwent Blender in my cart. Yeah, the, the Derwent Blender, if you have to have a blender, I would recommend the Derwent one. Now get the, there's a, there's a difference between the blender and a burnisher. Hang on, let me show you that. So don't, just so that you don't accidentally buy the wrong thing. Okay, there's a, bur a blender and a burnisher. The blender is made for blending the colors together. And also, guys, it is made for Derwent, okay? But I'm just showing you, you know, if you're a Prismacolor user and you want to use a blender, the Prismacolor blender just, I don't like it. It's scratchy. 
Uh, so there's the Derwent blender and the burnisher. What the burnisher does now is mash it all into the paper. Okay. If you use a burnisher, you are not going to get any more layers on there. You have mashed that paper down. <clears throat> okay. But I want to show you what it looks like when you can what you can do with just the pencils. But you just layer lots of light layers. And you think you would think that you could just go ahead and just like go, <laughs> you know, but you really can't. You gotta you gotta just do it lightly and build it up. And again, you gotta remember I got a scratch going through mine, but And if you get a little bit of wax buildup, you can just take a Kleenex. But by the time by the time you see the wax buildup, by the time you can see the Prismacolor wax buildup, you are pretty much beyond blending. You can smash down a dark color on top of it, but you're not going to get more blending after you. By the time you see the wax buildup, and I'm starting to see it now, so. Okay, so you just take a Kleenex or you can use a Q-tip or whatever and you can kind of get rid of a little bit of the wax bloom. You'll see it when I tilt it. You're going to see a shine, but it's not going to be scratchy. It's The shine is not going to be like this, you know, pencil lines. Okay, so here we go. All right, now let me see if I can capture the shine. See? All right, see how it's shiny right there? But you don't see shiny pencil marks up here on the top. The Prismacolor blender. If I get it, capture it right, you'll see pencil. Okay, there we go. Can you see the top, the Prismacolor? See how the pencil marks? You can see the shiny pencil marks. Okay. So, and you can work at it more slowly. So, Vonnie said the Luminance works great with the oil based pencils. Okay, like Polly's, it probably worked great with the Polly's. But I'm, what I'm trying to show you here is you don't need a blender. I've just always done my blending like this my whole pencil career. I just never have a lot. And that's, you know, the uh, Luminance and the Derwent blenders are fairly new to me, I'd say, in the last few years, right? I, the Prismacolor blender has been around for I don't know how long. I just never liked the Prismacolor blender. I just don't. I'm so used to just blending my for myself. So it's, you know, but it's up to you. Test different things. All right. So let me turn this over here so I can put this on top. All right. So now let's get back to adding the details here. So now what I'm going to do. So she added the white here. And what she has done now. Oh. Oh, what was I going to use here? Oh, was I going to use the Derwin on this? I think I was going to use the Derwin on the shadow here because I don't have any colors in just this. Okay, so let's just see what we can do here on the tone tan with the Derwin blender. And, and to me, it's just it's a lot more work. You got to get it's just a lot more work. I'd rather just use. I'd just rather use. Uh, pencil colors to blend especially if you're trying to get rid of all your pencil marks you know sometimes you want the pencil marks to show texture gives it texture but if you're trying to get rid of them all you got to really work at this <laughs> just saying okay 
Bonnie says, yes, I pencil blend too on the polys and then use the burnisher on the Lumi blender. Okay. Yeah, this is the this is the Lumi blender from the Karn Dosh Lumi set, uh, Bonnie, that we were using a minute ago. I'm not going to work too much on this shadow. I want to get the uh, egg done. Thanks, guys, for all the thumbs up. Thanks, guys, for everybody being here. A couple hundred people. That's nice for a Monday show. See, now I want to get back in there with my... Oh, let's get the color here. And start blending in because it's just not blending to my satisfaction. And now I'm going to get my shadow darker than I really want on the edges. Okay, we're going to leave that for now. Because <laughs> I'm not going to be happy with it. I'm not going to be happy with the blender. All right, so let's put the blenders aside. And let's go back to our colors here. All right, so here's what I'm going to do now. So I followed all the steps. Again, I need to darken up with the um, mulberry. Is it the mulberry? Dark purple? Oh, mulberry. Let's see here. Hang on. Nine and four. Which is it? Process red. Mulberry? Okay. I don't want the red. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is just go in here and start darkening up. Now, see, now I've got, I'm so zoomed in. Let me back out just a couple clicks, guys, because I can't get it all in the same, can't get it all in the same page. All right. Um, all right. So that was the last step. And she is just, looks like she's just continuing to go back and forth between the colors here, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, I'm going to start with adding a little bit more of each color. And start darkening it following her picture. I'm going a little tighter into the uh, lines here. Let's start with this one here. And this is just where all the blending happens. Again, if you'd rather use a blender, I'm going to be using the colors in white. And just keep building it up. <clears throat> okay, I am going to, let's see if I can do this. I want to get the finished egg in there. There we go. That's what we're heading toward, this. Okay. So you can start adding your shadows and more highlights. Let me sharpen. So this is where I'm going to just kind of take my time and blend and talk to you guys. So I'm just going to go back and forth between these same colors, the mulberry, the dark purple, the orange, yellow, and the white. Let me sharpen my white. And then at the very end, I might go back in with a little espresso. Um... I don't have the Derwent Light Fast Robin, so I can't address those. I don't have the Derwent pencils. I have had the, the, the Derwent pencils that I did have. I don't even remember what they were called. Somebody might know. They're kind of like the first Derwent pencils, the first generation of Derwent pencils. And I just did not like them as much as I do uh, Prisma. Okay. And I have the Polychromos, Luminance. Um, po uh, Polychromos Luminance, Holbies, I have the Holbines, and the Prismacolor. 
And now I have the Black Widow, which we're going to do some testing of some other projects out of the book with the Black Widows next week, probably. Uh, I don't know that it matters. Practicing techniques is a better use. You know, this kind of thing here where I did, you know, this kind of practice, these are excellent to do. Do this with every kind of brand pencil you have. Do the same kind of blending with Prismacolor, Polys, Holbys, Lumies. Do it with all your pencils. Do it on black paper. Do it on toned tan paper. Okay, so now I'm going to just work, keep working away here, guys. And again, I just drew this myself, so it's not exactly like her egg, because I just I just drew one. So it's a little bit different shapes and a little bit different wrapper paper here, you know. <clears throat> the ink tins, yeah, ink tins though are um, you know, they're really made to be water. At, at you know like a watercolor pencil uh, I've never really used Derwent ink tints without adding water you know just trying to blend them like this without water because I think the purpose of the ink tints is to add water because it's ink in a pencil okay um all right now I'm gonna keep So I'm getting some a little bit more darker areas. And then what I'll do is I will blend those out with the light pink. I'll blend them in, I should say. Blend them in with the light pink. This is darker down in here. Yeah, maybe it was the Derwent artist, GG. I don't remember, but I didn't like them. They were scratchy. They just weren't as soft as my Prismas. But then Prismas is just what I've used for, I don't know, however many years, back when they were barrel. I started the first time I used them, I was a teenager. Do I want to say how many years ago that was? <laughs> But they've been around for a long time. Just adding a little bit more of the crinkle. Color soft. I don't know, Robin. You mean dirt color soft? I don't know. I don't remember what the ones that I had with Derwent. I ended up giving them away. I didn't like them, so I passed them on to somebody else that might want to play with them. I don't know if I have any, like, loose ones around here. But I didn't like the I didn't like the Derwent. Now, the, there's a new one out now, guys. I don't know what they're called. Is it the Color Soft, Robin Bob Broderick? Is that the new ones? Are they called Color Soft? I don't have those. I've never tested the the new one, the new uh, Derwent that's out. So I don't know. I don't know if those are good or not. But they're you know just go look on YouTube. You'll find somebody that's got them <laughs> and uh, test them for you. So again, if you have um, did not grab the this is the books on Amazon. Let me show you the cover again so you can look for it. Jennifer Zimmerman, Coloring Secrets 2. I did a flip earlier. Okay, and we're doing one of the projects out of the book here. And um, my egg's a little skinnier than her egg. I just hand drew it, guys. Um, oh, thanks, guys. We'll just keep. And so what you got to do now, here's where the time comes in. 
is now you got to just start, and I'm going to go back to the pink. You have to just start blending. And no, don't put hard pressure because you'll get them all uh, waxed up and then you won't be able to blend. You have to do light layers to blend them. You think that just mash it down, it's all the same. It's not. It's not the same. So chat saying perfect example on oh, brother Julie. <laughs> so what's everybody? Oh, here, let's do a, I'm going to ask y'all, let me get that book out. Yeah. I showed this earlier. I bought this 3000 question thing book. You know, all my post-it notes are flying. Let me, let me check my post-its, make sure I covered everything. Uh, okay. Talked about that. Talked about that. Let me look over my list. Okay, we did the five sticks. We did the giveaway. We did um, the happy mail cat treats. We're doing this and the bags. Yeah, we showed everything. Um, okay, so anyway, I'm going to ask a question or two. Now, I won't see every one of your answers, obviously. You know, a couple hundred people here. I'm not going to read off everybody's answer. But for, for the sake of you guys in chat, answer this question amongst yourselves. All right, now, I don't know what it's going to be. I'm just going to kind of flip through the book and just stick my finger in there and pick a random question, and you guys answer it, okay? What is the scariest place you've ever been stuck or trapped? And we'll we'll do that question for a few minutes while I'm coloring, and then I'll try to answer a few of them. All right, and then uh, while I'm because it's going to take a minute to blend, it's going to take me a minute to do this, guys. What's the scariest place you've ever been trapped? An elevator. Has anybody ever been trapped in anything scarier than an elevator? So see how I'm kind of working around this to keep it a circle right there? An elevator in Germany. I'm just going to keep working this, guys. I'm just going to keep going back and forth between the colors to blend them. Zipped up a sleeping bag when you're five years old. Oh, B! A zipped up sleeping bag when you were five. Okay, the Derwent and Colorsoft are not the new ones. Okay, well, then if those were the old ones, Connie, then those were the ones I didn't like. I just don't remember the name of it. I'll make sure I stay in camera. Trapped in an elevator in Rome. What kind of building, uh, Elena? What kind of building was it? That wasn't the most exciting question that could have been given. A down plane in Colorado in 1988? 
a downed plane? No, you're claustrophobic. Oh my gosh, B. Oh my gosh. So every time I put another layer of color over this, it's getting rid of the pencil. It's blending it all together, right? Okay, so let's uh, get a little bit more down in here. Let me sharpen again. <clears throat> hey, Jennifer. I didn't see you come in. Jennifer's here. How we doing on your egg? Jennifer, I was so embarrassed. I have to tell you, you weren't here earlier, I don't think. Or if you were, you didn't say anything because you were being polite. <laughs> when I first was picking out the pencils, Jennifer, I was, I was having everybody tell me, okay, so his number, these are all the numbers up here, right? So I said, okay, 1038. What is 1038? Does anybody know what 1038 is? And you say down in the text, you tell us what 1038 and 10938, you tell us down in here. <laughs> so I had everybody trying to help me figure out what the colors were. <laughs> it was fun. Oh my gosh, it was fun. But uh, yeah, I had everybody helping me pick colors. So I just hand drew an egg similar to yours and we're just working. Now I'm doing all the blending. And we did talk a little bit, um, Jennifer, about blender pencils and how I'm not a fan of blender pencils, although we did do a test here. We did do a test of Prisma Blender, Derwent Blender, Lumi Blender, and No Blender, which is my favorite right there, No Blender. So um, there's there's not room enough to write, write it. Yeah, well, no, it's my fault because I, I told everybody. Jennifer, I told everybody. Now, when you're doing these step-by-steps, you should read ahead. <laughs> you should read ahead and get all the instructions out of it. <laughs> no. Did I read ahead? No. <laughs> and I'm just working on a piece of uh, Strathmore Tone Tan mixed media cardstock paper. So, And also, Jennifer, when I showed your book, I covered up the codes. I covered up the secret codes for people to print things out. <laughs> so, but I did tell them where to go. Go to your uh, your site and. Uh, <laughs> oh, what's the name of the book? Oh, the book of questions that we're talking about. Three thousand questions about me. It's an Amazon. I mean, a um, Barnes and Noble book. Piccadilly. Piccadilly puts it out. I got it at Barnes and Noble for set six or seven dollars. So anyway, um, <laughs> so we've been having fun with, I don't know how long you've been here, Jennifer. All right, let's ask another question while we're coloring or while we're blending. Okay, I'm just going to pick a random, let's pick a random question. If you're going to be an explorer, what would be your expedition? Okay, you think of Josh Gates on uh, History Channel <laughs> or Discovery Channel. I think he's on Discovery Channel. Uh, I love your test. I agree with no blender. Just taking time. But, oh, yeah. We, we're loving it. We're having fun, Jennifer. We're having fun. Yeah. And it depends on if you want the tooth to show or if you want it to be completely gone. So, yeah. Now I'm just working on layering up. So we did all the steps. And now I'm going back to your final picture and just adding more color. You know, adding more where we didn't quite add enough or where we need more or whatever. And that's that's where we are at this stage. And it's been fun. Everybody, have y'all enjoyed uh, seeing Jennifer's new book? Give Jennifer a shout out there. And I will put the link in the description of the video when it finishes rendering, which can take about an hour. So give it a, give it a hot minute. But, um, oh, and girl and thank you for the super chat girl girl thank you Anne. you're so sweet uh y'all make sure and follow Anne. she's the mama fruit bat did y'all see my did you see my sticker book earlier uh, Anne? there's a bat in there i said i'm gonna have to color that sticker and send it to you bat mama fruit bat <laughs> Uh, and re 
remember, guys, if you want to talk to me, put it in caps so I know you're talking to me because chat does go pretty quick. All right. And then again, guys, as far as the really dark darks, I'm going to go back in here again with the um, espresso. It's kind of gray brown. And I'm going to let me go ahead and do that right now. I want to add some really nice. I want to add some really nice uh, contrasting darks here and there. And so you just keep working on it, you know, just keep, keep working it. You're not going to get it done in five minutes. You're not meant to. <laughs> and girl, please. Uh, uh, thank you, Jay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, her book's on Amazon now. So if you want to, uh, order it terry was putting links in earlier if y'all didn't catch it i will put a link in the description box so did anybody say what expedition they would go on i, I know i missed them all going by julie oh is julie still talking about julie are you talking about when you're in the plane that would have been i can't even i don't even want to think about it julie I don't want to think about it at all, and I don't want to think about you being in it. So I'm going to just kind of flick down a little extra shadows here and there. I like the way you did the little flicking thing there, Jennifer, the little line, the little dashes. We did do that. <laughs> Can you see where we did the dashes? Well, we're glad you didn't, Julie. So now I'm just going to pick some of these extra darks out. Then I can go back to blending. So the book is awesome, Jennifer. Thanks for doing it. Doing another one. I did show my um, wolf and girl picture from uh well i've showed it off of facebook because it's in the book and i don't know where the book is right now where i did that uh double page spread that's one of my favorite color pages by the way so many places that you'd want to explore i don't know i think that um you know now of course i don't like bugs and heat so i can't say that i would uh, willingly or or lovingly go to uh jungles <laughs> You know, where they have discovered with LIDAR, they have discovered the, uh, uh, un, you know, the cities that are buried under tons and years of, you know, jungle growth. <clears throat> and they're, they're still discovering, they're still discovering cities. Okay, let's do a little bit more down here on this paper. It was a labor of love, but a ton of work. Yeah, my wolf emperor and wolf warrior girl. Yeah, those are the ones. Yeah, thank you. So again, now it's the rest of this is now just blending. It's going back and forth. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more orange down in here. I like that. I never use neon orange, Jennifer. You're making me use neon orange and neon pink that I never really use. So you just see how I just keep on, keep on blending, keep on blending. Oh, let's see. Let's go ahead. Okay. 
little more paint down right here. <clears throat> the neons are great for highlights. Yes, Christine. I just never use them, you know? I, I just, I don't know. But it's fun to use them today on this egg. I'll tell you the one thing that I always like to do, especially like lately, I just love my Poscas, is if I need a nice bright white highlight, I go with my Poscas. I'll show, I'll, I might do that on here. We'll see. I want to finish, continue blending here. I'm trying to get it like shiny, you know, it's a shiny foil egg. So I'm just kind of working my way up. Can y'all see how it's starting to blend up? Hi, Jamie. Bye, Donna. Anybody else I miss? Thanks, guys, for being here. I try to catch a lot of the chat, but you know, uh, it's either watch all the chat or work a little bit on the project. <laughs> I like to do both. Uh, all right, I'm going to go back up the top here with white now. And I'm going to start doing a little bit of blending with white up right up on this edge. So you can still see where you can see pencil. Which, you know, pencil marks and lines, if you will. And and if you want, that, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having some pencil texture. It depends on what you want to do, right? Um, I like it. I like to get rid of most of it, unless I'm trying to do a textury something. But... Um, Okay, let's do a little bit more in here. But this egg was fun to do. I hope y'all are enjoying seeing it done. And again, come down here and blend. Try not to get in a hurry, though, when you're blending. Try to... Uh, in other words, don't try to get hard pressure and in, in there. Try to take your time. Try to take your time to do the light, light layers. Thank you, Marie. We're working on it. I'm taking my time to, to blend. Just keep layering and layering. Okay, let's go up here with a little more, some more little wrinkly bits. And then just a minute, I'm going to pull out the pasta and add some tweaking. Just because I like to. <laughs> but I hope this will help you learn how to do something shiny, you know. Let me just go back in and blend some more. There's some you did a lot of shiny things in this book, Jennifer. I can't get my phone and TV to sync. <laughs> Makes you want to eat it, Cheryl. <laughs> 
All right, so let's see now. What do I want to do next? I think I want a little bit more of the uh, mulberry here. And you can go different directions to smooth it in. I'm going to touch up along these edges here. And just light, 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 light layers. Oh, thank you, Pamela. I hope y'all are in having fun. We're gonna we're gonna wrap it up here in just a minute. We've been here a little over three hours. I try to, you know, but we did have a lot of things to cover this morning before we got to the project. And I try to squeeze in a lot of stuff on our shows. Uh, regardless of what we're doing, we always squeeze in rabbit trails and you know. Okay, let's go back up here a little bit more with the pink. And thanks for all the new people and people that I don't see here all the time. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. And remember, guys, if you want to follow any people that are here, all you have to do is just go to their name and Click, the, click on the three dots at the end of their name and it will take you to their channel. And you can go to their channel and uh, follow them. We like to promote people here. Just layering and layering just keep on layering okay let's bring in the pink just a little further in now All right, how's it looking? Um, see, I still see where it needs more blending. Let's try to get one more layer here before we put on some Posca. And I want to get a little bit more definition in some of the um, lines there. But the best thing to do if you want to get good at color pencil is do things like this, guys. Do your do your uh, blends and take all different different shades of colors and try to blend all different kinds of things together, and just practice light blending. You know, you really do. You can't not practice the blending. It just, you just have to, you have to practice the blending and you can practice doing color book pages, but you know, just saying, if you really want to get good at it, it's a good idea to make your little swatches. 
um, of blends. Bye, Cheryl. Thank you for stopping in. All right, guys, I guess I should go ahead and, and stop so that I can show you some, because uh, I like to add my Posca. Uh, I really want to kind of finish this blending, but we're going to run out of, we're going to run out of time here. So you can see the shine there. And it could use just a little bit more, you know, color down in the wrapper here. Same thing for up here, maybe just a little touch just to give it a little bit more. Okay. All right. Let's see here. I want a little bit more shadow on this side. And just get in here with some of these. smooth out some of the little dashes okay. and I'm going to sharpen my white here and I'm going to go ahead and hit right on these lines again just a little oomph That one went too far over. Hang on. Let's bring that back. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stop in just a second, guys. I do need to finish this shadow. Let me go ahead and put a little bit of the dark purple down here. Because I tried to use the blender pencil down here. Not liking the blender pencil. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of blue, a purple in our shadow here. And I can kind of, we'll smooth this out after a while. I won't take the time to do this blend down here. But I want to smooth my shadow out just a little. And then now here's my final touch, guys. We're going to go in just a minute. Here's the, here's the cheat. <laughs> Not really. There's no cheating. I was just here's a here's a little way to make it extra pop. Okay, is with the um, Posca. So now I'm gonna pick out. I'm gonna pick out a little few little things. With the Posca. Okay. I'm going to turn it a little because I want to get up here on the top. Okay. And then in a couple of little... Highlights.
and you can you know reserve some wide areas you can get you can do this with pencil but it's just i can tell you it's quicker with the posca you can't over blend where you want to if you want these nice bright white highlights with pencil you have to leave un Matt, you know, uh, what do you call it? Not burnished. Don't get your paper so burnished down that, that the pencil won't do this. Okay, the pencil won't uh, go over if you've got your paper, if you've got it too burnished. Okay. All right, guys. There's my little Jennifer egg. Other than uh, Other than doing a little bit more in the shadow down here. Then we will find it. And what I'll do is I will post this on, um, I'm going to post this on Instagram and Twitter. But what I'm going to do is I will post a part of the page here, just maybe about that much. Is that all right, Jennifer? Can I post a little, can I post this so that I have a little bit of that? And then I'll post the cover of your book too. I'll do a slide through. I don't know if she's still here. So I'll show you guys the cover of the book. I'll show you, I'll take a picture of like this or something like that. So you can kind of get an idea, get a little bit of an idea. And then that way you can see a book and a part of a project just so you can kind of get an idea of some steps. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. I had fun. I love it, Jennifer. It was a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, let me back out here. I hope y'all enjoyed doing the project. And uh, yeah, so look for Jennifer's book again. I will put a link to it and you can find it easily on Amazon, but I'll put a direct link in the description box of the video when it fully renders. So it's The Secrets of Coloring 2, Jennifer Zimmerman. She does have a website and a um, she's on Facebook and she's on, and I did show this, let's see, let's show it back here. <laughs> is it in the front or is it in the back? I think it's in the front. Here we go. Um, her Instagram and all that. Here we go. So there we go, guys. If you want to find her, find Jennifer there. Okay. All right, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget Janet comes on. Janet will stream at uh, one and about an hour. And I hope you all enjoyed it. And thank you so much, Jennifer. Thanks so much. And we will see you guys again on Wednesday. I stream every Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye.